Chapter 2161 Charging out of the blockade you are no longer the pill fairy. In the Brahma Divine Palace, I didn't kill you. I've already returned your kindness from back in the day. If you block my path now, stopping me from saving my old sect, I won't show any mercy. Long Chen's expression was calm, but his eyes were filled with killing intent. The current pill fairy was no longer the kind pill fairy he had known. She was now a fully devoted disciple of a god. I don't need your mercy. The pill fairy waved a hand. The Brahma divine diagram filled the sky, and Long Chen's expression changed. The pill fairy was now a divine daughter and possessed a trace of her god's power. Using that power to activate the Brahma divine diagram allowed it to unleash its full potential. The Brahma divine diagram was actually swallowing this entire space into it. Once sucked in, even if Long Chen could escape, it would take a huge amount of time and energy. Space began to collapse as it was thrown into the diagram. Long Chen repeatedly dodged. Twang. Suddenly, a light sound rang out. A giant ancient zither appeared, creating a space devoid of the Brahma divine diagram. The seven-string sea suppressing zither an elegant figure appeared standing above the zither. It was the zither fairy, Zi Yan. Long Chen. Go. Leave her to me. Zi Yan sent a message to Long Chen. He hadn't expected Zi Yan to appear now. He didn't know if she had just arrived or if she had been here the whole time. But he didn't have time to ask. Many thanks. Long Chen shot away. He wanted to get to the Zhuanshan Dao sect as fast as possible. If his guess was correct, the Zhuanshan Dao sect was currently facing an attack. Do you think you can leave? The pill fairy's expression changed. The Brahma Divine Diagram once more began to tremble and spread around the sky. Zi Yan also made a move, forming hand seals. Four sounds rang out from the giant zither, stopping the Brahma Divine Diagram from spreading any further. Every sound was louder than the last, and within them, the sound of heaven collapsing and a furious sea could be heard. Zither Fairy, what are you doing? You want to be enemies with Pill Valley, demanded the Pill Fairy. Flame runes began to surge in her eyes, and fluctuations covered her body. A scorching heat began to twist the space around him. I have no intentions of being enemies with anyone. But if someone wants to be enemies with Long Chen, I have no choice but to take action, said Zi Yan calmly. These two fairies were both peerless beauties. One had Pill Valley's Brahma Divine Diagram, while one had the elusive music Immortal Palace's Seven String Sea Suppressing Zither. The two of them were now facing each other because of a man. Double dragon destruction just at this moment. Two giant dragons exploded like suns. The experts blocking Long Chen were devoured by a wave of divine light. Within the domain of lightning and flames, seven of the experts didn't have time to dodge because they were too close. Even with their divine items protecting them, they were incinerated. The other experts caught in its range miserably coughed up blood, staring in shock. If they had been struck head-on, they would be dead. This attack of Long Chen's was appalling to these experts. Although people had previously seen him use the double dragon destruction, it hadn't had as much power as just now. That was because now, Lai Long and Huo Long had absorbed a large amount of peak Dao transformation dragon saliva. They were able to use their power better and work together with Long Chen, increasing the power of the double dragon destruction. Furthermore, they had continued growing to a point that the people who had seen them would no longer recognize their power. Heaven and earth collapsed in the face of this apocalyptic power. Lightning and flames continued to flicker, while Long Chen had already vanished. Dongfang Yuyang, Shai Lingfang, Zeman Shai Angsheng, and the other experts didn't even see how Long Chen left. Is there any need to continue? Zi Yan looked at the pill fairy. You've ruined my important affairs. The pill fairy glared at Zi Yan, flames flickering in her eyes. Long Chen previously had a chance to kill you, but he didn't. Do you really have to kill him? He blasphemed the god. He is a sinner of Pill Valley. His sins can only be wiped away by his blood and soul, said the pill fairy coldly. Do you really not feel the slightest emotion toward him any longer? Zi Yan's eyes locked closely onto the pill fairy. The pill fairy's expression suddenly changed. She seemed to grow lost as if trying to recollect something. But then after the slightest struggle, her face returned to its old iciness. Zi Yan, 
I'll remember this debt that the elusive music Immortal Palace owes me. I'll be getting an explanation from them. The pill fairy merged into the Brahma Divine Diagram. A flash of light came from it, and it vanished along with her. Zi Yan sighed. The seven string C suppressing zither shrank until it merged into her body. Zither fairy, you know that Long Chen is colluding with the original devil race to overturn the martial heaven continent. Why would you help him? Isn't the elusive music immortal palace supposed to be the protector of the continent demanded one of the experts. Whether Long Chen wants to overturn the continent or not isn't dependent on what comes out of people's mouths. Gossip is just a tool used for tricking the stupid. I didn't think that heavenly geniuses like yourselves would also be tricked by it. It really is incomprehensible. Is there a need for you to act stupid? If you're that stupid, I worry about your intelligence. If you're not, it seems your heart is quite sinister. Zi Yan didn't give that person a chance to retort. She vanished. Long Chen had escaped, and the pill fairy as well as the zither fairy had left. The experts present didn't know how to react. This had been a challenge between Yu Zifeng and Jian Wachen. How was it that it now seemed to be bait for the main character, Long Chen? The experts that didn't participate in the battle weren't fools. This was clearly a ploy involving Long Chen. Dong Fang Yuyang, Shai Ling Feng, and the others had clearly wanted to make him stay behind. As for why? They hadn't figured it out. Fairy Rushuang, that Yu Zifeng is an accomplice of Long Chen's. I'd ask you to hand him over. Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuaya were also preparing to leave because they knew that today's matter was a trap. They had to report to their families because things were definitely not as simple as they appeared. But just as they were leaving, Shai Ling Feng blocked Bidang Rushuang's path. Scram. Bidang Rushuang was finally angry. Now she knew what true shamelessness was. It was to be so shameless as to convict someone to be guilty just by opening their mouth. By saying someone was a fiend, then they were a fiend. Now she understood what Long Chen meant about how powerless it was to not have any powerful support. Bidang Rushuang had never been wrongly accused of anything in her life, nor had she ever been bullied. She always laughed at Long Chen's bad temper and how easily he could be provoked into a fight. That wasn't the kind of mannerisms a transcendent expert should have. But now, she didn't care about those things either. What did you say? Demanded Shai Ling Feng angrily. Bidang Rushuang was as quick as lightning. The bow on her back instantly appeared in her hand. And the world suddenly turned dark. With her bow being the full moon in the night. A ray of light shot out. Piercing Shai Ling Feng's shoulder. He was sent flying. After that ray of light. The world returned to its original state. However, that sudden change in the world deeply shook people's hearts. Shai Ling Feng, even if you fully inherited Shai Chang Sheng's techniques, you wouldn't be qualified to talk to me like this, let alone in your current state. If you don't recognize just how much mercy I've shown you, then I'll make sure that you vanish from this world right now. Bidang Rushuang held her bow, killing intent on her face. The angry Bidang Rushuang was very frightening. Having talked and laughed with Long Chen, often even being teased by him, it seemed that people's impressions of her had changed. They had forgotten that she was a supreme genius amongst supreme geniuses. Shai Ling Feng looked down and saw a fist-sized hole in his shoulder. There were also cracks spreading throughout his body. His body had almost collapsed, and there was now a trace of terror in his face. He hadn't expected Bidang Rushuang to have the power to one-shot him. That attack just now had been too fast. He hadn't even seen what move Bidang Rushuang had used. She had instantly unleashed a full power blow. An attack contrary to the common logic of the cultivation world. The foundation of an everlasting family was truly unfathomable. Previously, Shai Ling Feng had provoked Nangong Zuayu, but as a humble and amiable person, Nangong Zuayu had just brushed it off with a smile. At that time, Shai Ling Feng's arrogance had grown, thinking that even the everlasting family's geniuses were just on this level. That was simply evidence of Shai Ling Feng's stone head. By blocking Bidang Rushuang and making demands of her, wasn't he slapping her in the face? Yu Zifeng is Long Chen's friend, and Long Chen is my friend. If someone wants him, then come. It seems that it's been a long time since I've killed anyone. Some people have grown blind and think that they can bully me. Do you really think that I, Bidang Rushuang, 
I'm an easy target. Her reference to a blind person made people glance at Shai Lingfang. Yes, he was truly blind in one eye. Fairy Rushuang, Yu Zifeng is. Dongfang Yuiang hesitated but still opened his mouth. Stop with the crap. Long Chen has entrusted Yu Zifeng to me. I, Bidang Rushuang, will guarantee his safety even if I have to lose this life of mine. If anyone wants to harm him, then come try it. Let's see just who dares to block me today. Bidang Rushuang directly interrupted Dongfang Yuiang. After she waved her hand, the Bidang family's disciples carried the unconscious Yu Zifeng and slowly left with her. Chapter 2162 Everything hangs by a thread Bidang Rushuang had displayed shocking power in her fury, almost killing Shai Lingfeng in one blow. Dongfang Yuiang seemed to have an urge to stop her, but Bidang Rushuang was resolute, and Nangong Zuiya was standing with her, hinting at her own position. Hence, they could only watch as Bidang Rushuang left. Once she vanished, Shai Lingfeng looked at his wound and clenched his teeth. Damnable woman, just wait. I'll make you regret this. The unconscious Yu Zifeng had been brought away by Bidang Rushuang. The battle was over. Although Yu Zifeng had been forced to the brink at the end, it didn't affect his position in people's hearts. He had been classified by the supreme geniuses as an apex expert. That Jian Wachen had ended up being controlled by the sword devil ghost slaughterer who had used a peerless killing move, only to be killed by Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng's fighting style had shown them the pride of a true sword cultivator. Compared to the wild Jian Wachen, Yu Zifeng better fit their personal impressions of a sword cultivator. Perhaps in this world, only the Heavenly Sword Gate could raise such a proud genius of the sword Dao. The Heavenly Sword Gate would forever be the sacred land for sword cultivators. Slowly, the people surrounding the end of the Heavens Valley scattered. However, some stayed behind to closely examine the new scars left in this place, attempting to comprehend the leftover wills from the battle. There were a few questions in people's minds. If the Blood Kill Hall wanted to kill Yu Zifeng, why hadn't their divine daughter, Dong Mingyu, been the one to attack? In that situation, there would have been no way that Long Chen could have saved Yu Zifeng. The other thing was, why was it that Long Chen and Mo Nian had rushed away so urgently? Also, people had assumed that they were going together, but then they had clearly been going in different directions. After using the double dragon destruction to break out of the blockade of those geniuses from the ancient era, Long Chen had obtained a chance to use the celestial lightning body blink to get away. However, the fact that he could blow them away and kill a few didn't make him happy. He knew that those who had blocked him weren't the strongest of those geniuses. The reason they had been able to dominate a generation was because they hadn't had any strong opponents. Compared to Dongfang Yuiang, Zeman Shiangsheng, and the like, they had inferior foundations, combat power, and intellect. Despite that, Long Chen's double dragon destruction hadn't been able to kill all of them even though he hadn't been holding back. He had summoned a sea of lighting before unleashing this attack in order to use the celestial lightning body blink to get away. Flying away, he found that after passing a certain range, a jade tablet on his waist began to rapidly flash. That was Xia Chen's alarm system. Those bastards, they really did set everything up. The region around the end of the Heavens Valley was masked with some kind of power. Long Chen looked at the Jade Tablet. There were two different regions flashing, and they represented the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race respectively. Those regions had formations set up personally by Xia Chen. When the alarms were triggered, Long Chen should have been immediately alerted. He hadn't expected his enemies to have even calculated this into their schemes. Long Chen flew into a city and saw many people surrounding it. His expression sank as those people weren't defending the transportation formation. The transportation formation had been broken by someone, and they were in the midst of repairing it. All of you just wait for me. Long Chen clenched his teeth, killing intent rolling out of him. His lightning wings flapped, and he directly flew to the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the main mountain gates had been destroyed. Countless experts of the corrupt path were attacking, and rivers of blood flowed as they fought the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. Senior apprentice sister Xiaoyu, we can't hold on any longer, shouted one of the disciples. He was covered in blood. 
he had just killed one of the corrupt experts, but in exchange, his arm had been cut off. Hua Xiaoyu, Wang Zhen, Su Mo, Mu Qingxuan, and the other top experts of the Zhuangshan Dao sect were fighting against one of the opponents. That opponent was Zi Luo. Zi Luo had summoned his manifestation and was leading the corrupt paths experts in their attack. Even if you can't, you have to hold on. The Xuan Master and the Patriarch have been tied down. Even if we have to die, we can't let them advance, shouted Hua Xiaoyu. In the distant sky, the Zhuangshan Tower was clashing with a giant bone tower. The two towers were connected by opposing divine light. The power from the two towers caused the world to suddenly dim and brighten randomly. Their terrifying power was suffocating. Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch were both standing atop the Zhuangshan Tower, their palms pressed together to control it. Both of their expressions were extremely grave. On top of the bone tower they were facing was Tian Zizi. Who would have thought that a broken down sect would actually have such a foundation? You're actually able to endure the attack of the corrupt god ancient tower. How unexpected Li Xiangxuan looked at Tian Zizi. Your attack this time is much more unexpected. I really can't figure out the reason why you have to attack right before the Qi flow eruption. Is taking losses yourself worth it? Li Xiangxuan was truly unable to figure it out. This had come too suddenly, without any warning at all. What had happened at the start was that some of the corrupt path's old monsters had come to attack, and so the Patriarch had directly activated the Zhuangshan Tower to crush them. However, as soon as he used the Zhuangshan Tower to attack, the hidden Zetianza suddenly attacked. He took out the corrupt path's priceless treasure, the corrupt god Ancient Tower. Legend had it that it was a remnant of the first generation corrupt god and was laced with his soul essence, giving it endless power. At that moment, Li Xiangxuan immediately sensed that they had fallen into a trap. In the instant that the Zhuangshan Tower was tied down, powerful enemies appeared all around the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Several expert formation masters immediately attacked, destroying several formation nodes, reducing the power of the protective formations and cutting off any spatial channels. This was a sneak attack that had been prepared well in advance, with the help of certain traitors within the sect. The Grand Formation was paralyzed. The worst thing was that the Zhuangshan Tower was tied down. If it wasn't, it could be used as the crux of the Grand Formation. Now though, it was impossible for them to use many functions, including the Transportation Formation to the Spirit World. Such a transportation required a powerful core, and the Zhuangshan Tower was that core. Li Xiangxuan's heart was cold. It seemed that several of the high-level experts in the Zhuangshan Dao sect had been bought by others or had their souls controlled. Quite a few secrets of the Zhuangshan Dao sect had been exposed. Tian Zizi smiled. There's nothing unexpected about it. The Zhuangshan Dao sect has caused quite some damage to the corrupt path. So destroying you will make us feel better. As for you, Li Xiangxuan, you aren't that powerful yourself, but you are one of the leaders of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Eliminating you is necessary. There's also Long Chen who grew up in your Zhuangshan Dao sect. He has killed countless experts of the corrupt path, and he definitely won't be happy when we destroy his home. You don't need to hope for anyone to come to save you. The other major powers of the Martial Heaven Continent are also facing an attack, including the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, although the other places are just feints. It's enough to paralyze the Martial Heaven Alliance. By the time they realize, the Zhuangshan Dao sect will no longer exist. As for Long Chen, the Pill Fairy is currently handling him, and there are also other supreme geniuses who want his life. Who knows if he'll even be surviving beyond today. Boom. Boom. Two more formations were broken within the sect, creating two openings in their defenses. Large groups of corrupt experts sinisterly laughed and charged in. Li Xiangxuan took a deep breath. A pillar of light suddenly soared out of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, illuminating the Zhuangshan Tower. HMPH. Even if you ignite your karmic luck, it's useless. The corrupt god ancient tower has started accumulating karmic luck since the first generation corrupt god. It's not something a little Zhuangshan Dao sect can block. Just obediently wait to be captured. Tian Zizi sneered and his hand seals changed. Countless figures began to appear on top of the bone tower roaming around like specters, an evil air sword, 
and no matter how brilliantly the Zhuangshan Tower shone, it was unable to suppress the corrupt god Ancient Tower. This is bad. Li Xiangxuan's expression finally changed. Without being able to pull back the Zhuangshan Tower, there was no way to activate the core formation. It's my fault. I fell for it. The Patriarch was ashamed. When the battle had first started, Li Xiangxuan had been in seclusion. It was the Patriarch who had directly used the Zhuangshan Tower to attack, falling for the enemy's trap. Even I might have fallen for it. No one knows how anyone might react. I wouldn't have let our disciples be killed either, said Li Xiangxuan. At that time, dozens of Nether Passage experts had suddenly appeared. If they didn't use the Zhuangshan Tower to wipe them away, there would have been many casualties amongst the disciples. Then what can we do now? We can only wait. We won't be able to hold on until the Martial Heaven Alliance's reinforcements arrive. No, I'm waiting for Long Chen. Long Chen? Isn't there a Divine Daughter delaying him? It'll be hard enough for him to protect himself. I believe Long Chen will definitely have a way. Li Xiangxuan was confident. All he could do was rest his hopes on Long Chen. The moment he had noticed that Long Chen was a heaven defier, Li Xiangxuan's fate had been bound together with Long Chen's. That had been and still was his life's greatest gamble. Ha 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 ha. Seeing that light coming from the Zhuangshan Dao sect, Ziluo charged forward stepping over the corpses of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Once I destroy your divine pool, this world will no longer have a Zhuangshan Dao sect. No. Stop. Bastard. I'll kill you. Hua Shiyu, Mu Qingxuan, Wang Zhen, Su Mo, and all the experts of the Zhuangshan Dao sect went crazy. This was their home. The Zhuangshan Dao sect is over. Zi Luo threw his blood-colored spear mercilessly at the core of the light. Just as the disciples were despairing, the spear came to a stop. It was firmly caught by a hand. Chapter 2163 Corrupt God Ancient Tower A black-robed figure appeared like a devil from hell. His face was originally handsome, but now it appeared frighteningly dark. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, seeing that devil-like figure, countless disciples of the Zhuangshan Dao sect cheered through their tears. With Long Chen present, the Zhuangshan Dao sect could be saved. Hua Xiaoyu, Mu Qingxuan, and the others also cheered. Long Chen's arrival filled them with energy. Long, Long Chen, Zi Luo's hair stood on end. He shivered, a sudden chill overcoming him. You're right, it's time to finish things. Long Chen's voice was spat out from the cracks between his teeth. He slammed Zi Luo's spear back at him, causing Zi Luo to cough up a mouthful of blood. Zi Luo was shocked and horrified. He was no longer his old self. Since Tian Zizi had come out, he could only serve as his attendant. Although later Tian Zizi had given him some pointers, allowing his power to soar, he had lost so many times to Long Chen, and his heart was full of terror toward him. Now that Long Chen appeared like a devil, Zi Luo didn't even have the courage to fight. He directly turned tail and fled. Zi Luo hadn't gotten far when Long Chen threw a lightning spear at him like a shooting star. The spear pierced through his body, and the immense power behind it made his body explode. Just like that, Zi Luo was killed. The spear continued after flying through him, flying until it struck one of the corrupt path's experts that was fighting Hua Xiaoyu. That expert hastily blocked, but his divine item exploded on contact with the spear, and his physical body was torn apart. Only his Yuan spirit flew out, but it was quickly cut down by Hua Xiaoyu's sword. Long Chen was like a tempest, slaying the top experts of the corrupt path present one by one with Evil Moon. Not one of them was able to block a single attack from Long Chen. In an instant, 19 of the corrupt path's top experts were killed. It didn't matter if it was an awakened Empyrean or an old Nether Passage monster, they were all killed in one blow. The balance of the battlefield instantly shifted to their side. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's morale soared thanks to Long Chen's arrival, and the disciples launched a fierce counterattack. Tian Zizi, since you want to die so much, I'll kill you right here. Long Chen charged through the battlefield, going for Tian Zizi. He howled furiously, crazy with rage. Split the heavens eight. Tian Zizi snorted and smashed a fist at Evil Moon. A powerful explosion erupted. Unleashing a wave of divine light, Long Chen's arm trembled. 
He suddenly realized that Tian Zizi was wearing translucent gloves. Without looking closely, they were unnoticeable. Long Chen vaguely saw divine runes on them. An ancient and evil aura came from them. Those gloves were Tian Zizi's priceless treasure. Something left behind by the second generation corrupt god. The second generation corrupt god had been a body cultivator. He hadn't used any weapons. With just his hands, he could tear the heavens apart and had destroyed countless divine weapons. The skin of his hands had been left behind when he had ascended, and Tian Zizi had taken control of them. Ever since he had made this pair of gloves with them, he had never encountered anyone capable of blocking his fist. However, Long Chen's attack had caused his blood to flip within him. There was also a sharp pain coming from his hand. Now he knew just how terrifying Long Chen's power was. Rumbling rang out. The corrupt god ancient tower shuddered as at this moment. Li Xiangxuan took the chance to counterattack with the Zhuanchen tower. Tian Zizi's expression changed. Due to the distraction, his control over the corrupt god ancient tower had fallen. At this moment, Long Chen's second attack arrived. Boom. Tian Zizi once more blocked Long Chen. And as a result, the corrupt god ancient tower shuddered intensely and was blown back by the Zhuanchen tower. Tian Zizi coughed up a mouthful of blood. He needed to block Long Chen's attacks and control the corrupt god ancient tower. But the distraction allowed the Zhuanchen tower to injure him. The Zhuanchen tower was currently burning up karmic luck to unleash immense power. The two sides had been equally matched at first, but Long Chen's arrival immediately put Tian Zizi at a disadvantage. Tian Zizi was furious. If it weren't for Long Chen, then he was confident he could destroy the Zhuanchen Dao sect within another incense stick's worth of time. Without the Zhuanchen Tower, he would also be confident in killing Long Chen. But in this state, he was stuck. He glanced at the battlefield. Long Chen had killed 19 of the Corrupt Path's top experts, instantly putting the Corrupt Path side at a disadvantage. The disciples of the Zhuanchen Dao sect were also fighting like madmen, wanting to kill their enemies even if they had to die themselves. If this continued, even if they could still fight, it would be meaningless. There was no way the forces he had brought would be able to destroy the Zhuanchen Dao sect within the next few minutes. After that, Reinforcements from the Martial Heaven Alliance would arrive. By that time, they wouldn't even have a chance to retreat. Count yourselves lucky this time. Tian Zizi suddenly vanished into the corrupt god ancient tower. Pillars of light shot out of it, landing on the bodies of the corrupt path's experts. Those experts vanished, sucked into the corrupt god ancient tower. However, only just over 10,000 of them were taken in. Those were the elite disciples and powerful Empyreans. As for the other disciples and old Nether Passage elders, they were abandoned. Long Chen, I'll take your life next time. Tian Zizi's voice rang out from within the corrupt god ancient tower. The tower then tore through the void and vanished. Not even the Zhuanchen tower could stop it. Kill these bastards from the corrupt path. Avenge your fellow disciples. Wang Zhen and the others went crazy slaughtering the leftovers who were starting to flee Novaloon.com kill. The Zhuanchen Dao sect's disciples roared and crashed down on those experts. Long Chen, hurry and assist the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. They should be the true focus of this attack, said Li Xiangxuan. Long Chen had come and saved them at this critical time, but that didn't mean that things were over. If even the Zhuanchen Dao sect had faced such a powerful attack, then the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was definitely in danger. The transportation formation has been broken. So I can only run over. Xuan Master, I'll leave this place to you. Long Chen found that the spatial energy in the surroundings had been thrown into chaos by the corrupt god ancient tower. Summoning his lightning wings, Long Chen rushed off. Once Long Chen left, Li Xiangxuan immediately called back the disciples not permitting them to chase the corrupt experts. If they went any further and got scattered, there might be trouble. Who knew what backups their enemies had? The Zhuanchen Tower returned to its original location, and the Grand Formation was immediately activated. I've gotten old and useless the Patriarch sighed heavily as he saw the corpses of the Zhuanchen Dao sect's disciples littering the ground. If he had not activated the Zhuanchen Tower for offense and sent it out to crush the bait that had been offered, 
then even Tian Zizi with the corrupt god ancient tower wouldn't have been able to do anything to them for a while. If the Zhuanshan Tower had been united with the Grand Formation and focused entirely on defense, they would have been safe. Even if their other formations were broken, the Grand Formation had the ability to send the Zhuanshan Dao sect directly to the spirit world. There definitely wouldn't have been such casualties then. Although Li Xiangxuan had said that he might have done the same, the Patriarch knew that this was just to comfort him. With Li Xiangxuan's intelligence, he definitely wouldn't have so easily used the Zhuanshan Tower, so the Patriarch felt immense guilt for the fallen disciples. Li Xiangxuan shook his head. Master, don't be so stubborn. There are many things that were already set in stone as soon as Long Chen joined the Zhuanshan Dao sect we are powerless to change things. The only one who can change things is Long Chen. Do you think that Tian Zizi wouldn't be able to do something if you didn't send out the Zhuanshan Tower? Are you sure they didn't have other ways of slipping in? Since Tian Zizi came here, he definitely had more trump cards than just the corrupt god ancient tower. Furthermore, there will always be more tribulations just like this. Due to Long Chen, we have thousands of times the number of elite disciples as we had before. This battle can be viewed as a battle to temper the survivors. It also washed out the weak. The competition on the martial path is just that cruel. Death only means that your own life wasn't tough enough. When I first saw Long Chen, I knew that the Zhuanshan Dao sect's fate would be one with his and that things would not be calm. So whether it's good or bad, it was my decision, not yours. I bet the Zhuanshan Dao sect's fate on Long Chen. If you blame yourself for this, it will only make me feel bad. Fine, I can't beat you in an argument, but you are the disciple I am most pleased with in this life. You are my pride. I support all your decisions. The patriarch sighed and patted Li Xiangxuan on the shoulder before leaving. Many thanks, Master. Li Xiangxuan took a deep breath. When there was a fork in the road, there was no way of telling which path was right until the very end. Li Xiangxuan looked in the direction where Long Chen had gone. He had a premonition that this time, Long Chen was going to change the very face of the martial heaven continent. Long Chen, I also support you. Do your best to display the brilliance of a heaven defier. Chapter 2164 Divine Sparrow Swallowing the Heavens An immense battle was being fought at the gates to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. Countless experts of the Xuan beasts were currently attacking. Over 3000 dragon blood warriors were immersed in a blood soaked battle. The ground beneath them was already covered in blood. Corpses were everywhere. Some from the attacking Xuan beasts some from the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. There were rivers of blood constantly flowing. On the earth and in the sky, there seemed to be an endless torrent of Xuan beasts charging over. Cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, you're the disgrace of the Xuan beasts. Today, we'll make sure you vanish from this world forever shouted one of the Xuan beasts experts. He was in his true form and was a flaming wild lion. As soon as he was done roaring, a black light pierced through his head, killing him. That was one of the divine abilities of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Just come and try it. K. Yuzhu had taken the form of a giant cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. All her feathers shone brightly as she led the experts of her race. The Xuan beasts had sent over a powerful force, but Xia Chen's formations were still active. The surveillance formation he had set up over this region during the Stone Race and the Mechanism Sect sneak attack was still present. As a result, the Xuan Beast's attack was sensed immediately, and the Dragonblood Warriors had crashed down upon them before they could enter the territory of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Race. Without a word, a bloody battle had started. This battle was extremely intense and many casualties had appeared amongst the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. This time, the Xuan beasts had gone all out, bringing an army of tens of thousands of twelfth-rank magical beasts. HMPH, if that's what you want, then we'll try it. You traitors have lost the face of the Xuan beasts. Do you think that Long Chen can protect you forever? Ha, huh. Long Chen might be dead now, so just give up on him, announced Huang Fian. She was like a divine phoenix, her body enveloped in flames. The current Huang Fian had hundreds of other experts from the Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix race with her. 
They were all in their true bodies, fighting against the Dragonblood warriors. Someone who can kill my boss has yet to be born. Who cares about your nine heaven divine phoenix race? Sneered one of the Dragonblood warriors. The 3000 Dragonblood warriors had all summoned their manifestations, which then linked together into a formation. They had already been fighting for an hour against Huang Fian and the other experts, but neither side was able to beat the other. The Dragonblood warriors were unable to kill Huang Fian, but Huang Fian was unable to get past them either. However, what the Dragonblood warriors were worried about was a certain fight going on. Cloud was up in the sky, every single one of her feathers blazing with divine light. Her brilliance illuminated the world, although she was only at the 11th rank. Her terrifying blood chi was even more majestic than a 12th rank magical beast. Men chi was on Cloud's back, with her manifestation at full power behind her. It contained an endless mountain range filled with immortal mist. Men chi held a peacock's feather in her hand. That was the blue eye peacock's original true feather, which contained the blue eye peacock's divine abilities. Facing Men chi and Cloud was a sharp faced man, the one who had inherited the Peng Emperor's legacy. Kun Pengzi. Kun Pengzi also had his manifestation active. It was a giant Kunpeng. It was so huge that its wings directly soared into the cosmos, filled with the will to charge out of the nine heavens. Kun Pengzi's gaze was icily sharp. Hand over the myriad spirit diagram, and under my name as the descendant of the Peng Emperor, I can let you off. Otherwise, you'll all be killed today. I'd rather die. Men Chi was firm. I've given you your chance but you don't want it, then I'll be taking it myself. The Kunpeng in his manifestation shook and he transformed into a bolt of lightning that shot at Men Chi. Men Chi seemed to have anticipated this attack. Upon forming a one-handed hand seal, the world around her suddenly collapsed. Heaven and earth twisted, and stars appeared all around, blocking Kun Pengzi. Don't think that I'll fall for the same technique twice. Your illusions are already useless Kun Pengzi clawed that world of stars, and it exploded. Lightning surged out, forming a giant lightning chain. The lightning chain blew through this artificial world that was an illusion constructed out of Men Qi's spiritual strength. Just as the illusion was shattered, Men Qi waved the original true feather in her hand. A ray of divine light shot out of it, transforming into a sharp sword piercing toward Kun Pengzi. Even if the blue eye peacock's true body was here, it would have to submit to me. As for a feather, be broken. Kun Pengzi's footsteps didn't pause. With the rake of his hand, a lightning claw crashed into the light sword, shattering it. The lightning claw then continued toward Men Qi and Cloud. Men Qi's heart shook. They had been fighting for a while now, but Kun Pengzi had only been using probing blows before. Now that he was using his full power, she was unable to endure it. Cloud let out a brilliant bird cry and also sent a claw out. Her claw was covered in black runes that made it look metallic and sharp enough to tear the sky apart. Boom. The two claws clashed. The runes on Cloud's claw crumbled, leaving it covered in blood. The cloud chasing heaven raking claw? You've even awakened your ancestral divine ability. But too bad. It's not mature enough. It's too lacking to fight against me. With a flash. Kun Pengzi appeared in front of Cloud, a lightning sword in hand. Boom. Cloud was still flying back from the impact of their last exchange, but she gathered all her power to her head to receive this attack. Just as the lightning sword slashed toward her head, the original true feather appeared in front of her, blazing with light. As a result, the true feather exploded. That strongest feather of the blue eye peacock appeared weak in front of the lightning sword. The thunder force that Kun Pengzi controlled was not ordinary lightning. It also wasn't divine lightning. That energy seemed to be something that did not belong to the heavens, but it possessed immense destructive power, as well as a certain sharpness. His attack continued after breaking the true feather and struck Cloud's head. As a result, a mass of Cloud's feathers fell from her head, and a large wound appeared. If it weren't for the true feather blocking a portion of that attack's power, then this would have been a serious injury or even a death sentence. Men Qi's heart was cold. This Kun Pengzi was too powerful. Her manifestation hadn't reached its peak, and the amount of power she could unleash was limited. As for Kun Pengzi's thunder force, it was especially effective against her soul arts. 
She wasn't able to threaten him much. Cloud had just come out of seclusion. Although she had managed to gain control over the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's strongest divine abilities, she hadn't been able to train in them for long, and so they lacked maturity. Being sliced in the head, Cloud went crazy. Her whole body began to shine. Opening her mouth, a powerful suction force appeared. With her mouth as the core, the void collapsed, forming a giant whirlpool that sucked up everything in the surroundings. The world shook. Divine Sparrow swallowing the heavens. Kun Pengzi's expression changed. This was the most ancient divine ability of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. In fact, it was so ancient that it only existed in legends. It was unexpected for Cloud to be able to awaken such an ancient divine ability. If swallowed into Cloud's stomach, then even Kun Pengzi would be wiped out by this divine ability. It was a technique with no counter. And this was also why even the Kunpeng race had to restrain themselves to a certain extent around the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. Lock. Kun Pengzi slammed his hands together, and the Kunpeng in his manifestation folded its wings around him. The space around him turned still as if frozen. His body was firmly locked in space. He had charged right in front of Cloud to attack, and Cloud had furiously activated her strongest divine ability. Mountains collapsed and the earth was torn asunder. Trees, boulders, rivers, they all flowed into Cloud's stomach. No, several of the Xuan Beast's experts were also sucked in. Once sucked into the whirlpool, no matter how they struggled, it was useless. They were all pulled into Cloud's mouth. They could see their figures shrink as they entered Cloud's mouth. They were then crushed by some power and turned into nothing more than dust Noveloon.com whether it was the heavenly geniuses of the Xuan beasts or powerful 12th rank magical beasts. Once sucked into Cloud's mouth, all that awaited them was death. Regretfully, Cloud could only maintain this technique for a few breaths time. Although she had killed hundreds of the Xuan beasts experts, she was unable to suck Kun Pengzi in. Furthermore, Cloud's aura began to plummet. Just at that moment, Kun Pengzi dispelled his space locking art and shot toward Cloud's back. His target was Meng Qi, or more accurately, the myriad spirit diagram in her hands. Meng Qi's manifestation shook and the world twisted. Meng Qi vanished from her original location, appearing at Cloud's tail. Your manifestation is useless against me. Meng Qi had just reappeared when Kun Pengzi showed up, standing in front of her, quick as lightning. His hand reached for Menki's neck. Just as his hand was about to touch Menki's neck, another hand that was as quick as lightning slapped Kun Pengzi in his arrogant face. Chapter 2165 The terrifying Kun Pengzi This attack was so sudden that neither Menchi nor Kun Pengzi saw who the attacker was. All Kun Pengzi felt was an immense power that sent him flying. Half his head caved in. Long Chen. Just from that familiar sound. That familiar orbit, Meng Qi knew that it was Long Chen. He was the only one who could make face slapping into a divine art. It's been hard on you. Leave the rest to me. Long Chen's familiar voice rang out, making Meng Qi sigh with relief. After sending Kun Pengzi flying, Long Chen's divine ring appeared, his aura instantly bursting forth like a volcano. His aura was berserk, and he was overflowing with killing intent. Evil Moon unleashed a giant saber image piercing the heavens. Long Chen was directly using the eighth form of split the heavens. You didn't die? That's good too. It means I can personally kill you. Kun Pengzi was startled to see Long Chen. He had thought that Long Chen would be dead by now. Long Chen's killing intent grew once more. As expected, it was all planned. Seeing the corpses of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race on the ground. Long Chen let out a heaven-shaking roar. It just so happens that I also want to personally kill you. Long Chen's saber fell mercilessly. In front of Long Chen, Kun Pengzi no longer dared to fight barehanded, and he took out an ancient war halberd. The halberd was covered in lightning runes emitting a fierce aura. This was a weapon that had ended countless lives. Boom. The halberd's runes lit up, destroying Long Chen's saber image. Long Chen was forced back his blood flipping inside him. Startled, Long Chen looked at the halberd. The lightning runes on it were like dragons roaming around. Its aura was like an emperor looking down on the rest of the world. A true divine item. Long Chen's heart shook. 
Most of the divine items he had encountered so far were quasi-divine items and half-step divine items. True divine items were very rare. For example, Pill Valley's Brahma Divine Diagram and the Danite Furnace, the elusive music Immortal Palace's Seven String Sea Suppressing Zither, the Zuanshan Dao Sect's Zuanshan Tower, and the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's Heaven Splitting Blade. Those were true divine items, but they were all used for maintaining karmic luck, so they could only unleash their full potential when supported by karmic luck. This was why even Tian Zizi's corrupt god Ancient Tower had been temporarily unable to do anything to Li Xiangxuan. It needed the support of karmic luck to unleash its full power. Kun Pengzi's cultivation base was the same as Long Chen's, but he was actually able to control this divine item. Its power was even greater than the Brahma divine diagram used by the Pill Fairy. This is the Kun Peng race's inherited divine item. It was personally created by the Peng Emperor back in the day. I'm actually surprised that your trash saber didn't break. This divine item hasn't appeared in the world for a long time. So you can die at peace knowing that I took it out to kill you. The Kun Peng in Kun Pengzi's manifestation slowly spread its wings. Its wings soared into the sky as if propping up the heavens. I'll show you what a heaven soul manifestation is before you die. This is the Peng race's inherited manifestation. Kun Peng splits the azure sky. Kun Pengzi's manifestation suddenly exploded. The Kun Peng within the manifestation actually flew out into the world. At the same time, two lightning runes spun within Kun Pengzi's hands. His aura began to climb rapidly. The lightning halberd in his hand also began to blaze with light, becoming like a sun illuminating this world. Break. Kun Pengzi let out a cry, and his lightning spear wildly slashed down. Whether it was the dragon blood warriors, the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, or even the Xuan beasts, their fighting all slowed down as they stared in shock at Kun Pengzi. The current Kun Pengzi was practically like a god. A powerful will spread out of him, one that forced others to submit. Boom. Long Chen's five star battle armor was activated, and he didn't hold back the power of the Azure Dragon. However, despite going all out, he was still sent flying once more, coughing up a mouthful of blood. It still didn't break? Interesting. Seeing that Evil Moon didn't show any signs of shattering, Kun Pengzi was a bit surprised. Long Chen wiped away the blood on his mouth, cursing Evil Moon for still not being awake. Without its help, he was at too much of a disadvantage. Evil Moon was still slumbering, so it wasn't giving him any divine power in assistance. Everything was dependent on his own power. If it was a clash of power against power, Long Chen wouldn't fear anyone. But there was a qualitative difference between mortal power and divine power. He was at an immense disadvantage against divine power. Regretfully, Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal were both in slumber after absorbing all the divine energy in the stone statues he had stolen from the Brahma Divine Palace. They were temporarily unable to help him. Against Kun Pengzi who was in control of a true divine item, Long Chen was unable to fight evenly. Let's see how long you can last. I heard you also specialize in controlling lightning. Let me see just how strong your lightning is, and if it can match my Kun Peng race's innate divine lighting. Kun Pengzi laughed arrogantly, charging at Long Chen with his lightning halberd. Then have a look. Long Chen took a deep breath and put away Evil Moon. Upon forming hand seals. A brilliant dragon cry rang out. Lai Long appeared, circling in the air. A giant lightning channel emerged. After that, a giant claw came reaching out of the lighting channel, striking Kun Pengzi. Kun Pengzi was badly shocked, and his hasty block resulted in him being swatted away. Heaven and earth rumbled. A giant silver drake came flying out of the channel. Lightning filled the surroundings. Drake King. Activate the lightning domain's power to help me out. Long Chen summoned a pair of lightning wings and a lightning spear. The Drake King's claw shone brightly, and a sacred aura erupted out of it. As a result, the lightning passage shook, and thunder force poured out of the channel from the lightning domain. Bathed within a sea of lightning, Long Chen's lightning wings and spear grew stronger and stronger. This was the blessing of the lightning domain. Its power was slowly entering the martial heaven continent, filling Long Chen and the Drake King with power. Long Chen, after receiving your favors in the past, I'll repay you a bit today. 
the Drake King sent him a message and then charged forward, a claw smashing down on Kun Pengzi. HMPH, a spirit of a paragon art also dares to be arrogant Kun Pengzi's halberd suddenly transformed into a blazing streak of divine light that struck the dragon claw. However, he had underestimated the Silver Drake King's power. The divine light shattered and Kun Pengzi coughed up blood. Just at that moment, Long Chen's wild lightning soul battle spear appeared behind him, as if everything had been calculated perfectly. Kunpeng lightning shield, shouted Kun Pengzi. The halberd began to spin rapidly, and the Kunpeng manifestation behind him unleashed thunder force that condensed into a giant shield before him. Boom. The lightning spear and lightning shield exploded at the same time, transforming into specks of light like a beautiful firework. It was actually able to pierce the shield of my divine lightning. Kun Pengzi's expression finally changed. Although the power that Long Chen controlled wasn't as violent as the Silver Drake King's, it contained a divine power that actually managed to gain an advantage over his innate lightning. Kun Pengzi's lightning was an innate divine ability. Even heavenly tribulation lightning was unable to harm him. However, he had no time to consider why Long Chen's thunder force was so powerful. That was because the Drake King's claw was whipping toward him. He felt a suffocating feeling from it. Kunpeng true body. Suppress heaven and earth. Kun Pengzi no longer maintained his human form. He transformed into a giant Kunpeng, merging with the image of his manifestation. His huge wings were enveloped by lightning, and he clashed with the Drake King's tail. A powerful explosion shook the sky and the earth cracked into pieces. The surrounding mountains were blown to smithereens. Having summoned his true body clearly showed that Kun Pengzi had been forced to bring out his strongest techniques. It went without saying that Kun Pengzi's strongest state was in his true form. With it, he and the Drake King were actually equally matched. His claws reached out as he took the initiative to attack the Drake King. A spirit of a paragon art thinks it can look down on my Kun Peng race. Raged Kun Pengzi. He wanted to first eliminate the Drake King because it posed the greatest threat to him. If it weren't for the spatial channel being too narrow and my power being limited by the laws here, would you be able to receive a single attack from me? The Drake King was also infuriated now by the insult. Just at this moment, Long Chen shot toward Kun Pengzi as well. Rumbling rang out as Kun Pengzi was forced back over and over again. Divine lightning arts continuously came out of him in brilliant transformations. Long Chen, you're running out of thunder force. The channel is about to close. Transmitted the Drake King to Long Chen in the middle of their fight. The Drake King's violent fighting style continuously shook the channel, causing it to use up Long Chen's power rapidly. Once the channel broke down, the Drake King would have to return. It's that bastard's thunder force. He's intentionally damaging my lightning channel. Drake King, hold him down for me. I'll use something big on him. Long Chen suddenly retreated from the battle. He raised his right hand, about to summon the world extermination flame lotus. However, at that moment, a streak of divine light pierced the sea of lightning and struck Kun Pengzi. Chapter 2166 Five Element Sun Hunting A ray of divine light flashed, appearing in front of Kun Pengzi in an instant, closing in on one of his giant eyes. Boom. Kun Pengzi had been fighting against the Silver Drake King, while this attack came silently. By the time he sensed it, it was too late to dodge. He could only twist his head and avoid letting it strike his eye. It landed on his forehead instead. Many of Kun Pengzi's feathers blew off, a large hole appearing in his head. Blood drenched the nearby feathers. Kun Pengzi, you hunted me down with a giant group last time. It should be my turn now. Mo Nian's voice rang out. That attack had come from the five element sun hunting bow. He was displeased that his attack had been sensed in the end. Mo Nian was also covered in blood, and parts of his clothes were destroyed. He had clearly just gone through a bloody battle, with his first attack not achieving his desired effect. Mo Nian let out a shout. His manifestation appeared, including the two large figures. When those two figures appeared, the five element sun hunting bow blazed with light. He pulled back on the bowstring. As he pulled, the world twisted, becoming deformed due to some kind of power. When did his five element sun hunting bow become so powerful? Long Chen's heart shook. 
the current five element sun hunting Ba seemed to have merged with the world. When Mo Nian pulled back the string, the world's energy merged into it. A huge arrow condensed within heaven and earth. This was the exact opposite of the previous silent attack. This was an arrow that rang out as loudly as thunder. Kunpen Voidbreaker. Even Kun Pengzi's expression changed in the face of this terrifying arrow. Thunder Force gathered together, and a lightning arrow shot out of his eyes. Boom. The two arrows crashed together, causing the world to shake. Mo Nian was blown back, coughing up a mouthful of blood. Kun Pengzi's giant body flipped through the air. His feathers dimmed, losing a bit of their blazing light. That last attack had clearly cost him. The Drake King took advantage of this moment to grab Kun Pengzi's wings with its claws and pull. The Drake King's claws were like hooks trying to tear Kun Pengzi apart, but his body was too strong. Sparks appeared and a metallic sound rang out. Kun Pengzi let out a furious howl. A vast, ancient, and berserk aura suddenly exploded out of him. The Drake King was blown back as Kun Pengzi's blood chi was fluctuating wildly. A terrifying bloodline pressure appeared. He's burning his essence blood. Long Chen, help me out, shouted Mo Nian. Having exchanged blows with Kun Pengzi before, Mo Nian knew that Kun Pengzi had stimulated his ancestral blood. In this state, he could use extremely ancient divine abilities. Long Chen appeared behind Mo Nian, placing his hand on his back. Long Chen's spiritual yuan poured into Mo Nian's body. Damn, you have so much spiritual yuan. Mo Nian jumped in shock. Originally, he had thought that Long Chen would have used up most of his spiritual yuan after fighting Kun Pengzi. He himself had used up a great deal of spiritual yuan, which was why he needed Long Chen's help. I didn't have a chance to use a divine item's power, so there was nowhere to spend it. Stop talking and kill this bastard, shouted Long Chen. Evil Moon was still slumbering, so he didn't need to activate any divine item. Even after the battle in the end of the Heavens Valley and in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he hadn't used up much spiritual yuan. As for the world extermination flame lotus, that did use up a great deal of energy, but with its long cast time, he hadn't had time to unleash it. Nice. Feeling the limitless spiritual yuan pouring into him, Mo Nian was delighted. His bow shook as five streams of energy poured into it. These five streams of energy were visible to the naked eye. They contained the essence of metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. As these five energies merged, heaven and earth changed color. Five element sun hunting. Mo Nian released his hand, and an arrow shot out at Kun Pengzi. The feathers on Kun Pengzi's body dimmed. In exchange, the feathers on one of his wings raised, crackling with lightning. Like a sharp blade, it slashed in front of him. Kun Pengzi's full strength attack was still unable to break the attack from Mo Nian containing Long Chen's spiritual yuan. A giant hole was pierced in his wing. After that, the Drake King's tail whipped toward him, sending Kun Pengzi smashing into the ground, leaving a giant ditch. Ahh Kun Pengzi suddenly reverted to his human form. His eyes were scarlet, and his hair was standing on end. Covered in blood, he let out a heaven-shaking roar. You bastards! Just wait. Once I awaken my emperor blood, I'll take your lives. Long Chen and Mo Nian, as well as the Drake King, were too powerful for him to defeat. Let's not wait. We're all busy, so let's fight to the death right here. Mo Nian raised his bow once more. He found that with Long Chen's seemingly limitless stores of spiritual yuan, he could unleash another powerful arrow with no problem. Long Chen was definitely a monster when it came to his spiritual yuan reserves. The world twisted once more as an arrow condensed. Kun Pengzi's expression immediately changed. Kun Pengzi's lightning halberd shook, and he vanished from his original location, appearing outside of the battlefield. He waved his hand, shooting a lightning chain that wrapped around Huang Fian, pulling her. He transformed into a bolt of lightning, vanishing. The Xuan beasts who had come also fled at this moment, while the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow races experts and the dragonblood warriors gave chase. However, Long Chen shouted at them to stop. After that, the lightning channel shook. The Silver Drake King was forced to return, disappearing from sight. The void rumbled. Countless experts rushed over, alarming the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. 
they were about to attack when Long Chen shouted, They're on our side. The people coming were the old man, Boss Bao, and the other experts of the heaven splitting battle sect just a moment after them. Hu Jin Ying and Li Xiangxuan arrived. It seems that we arrived late. Li Xiangxuan shook his head upon seeing the corpses. Li Xiangxuan had arranged everything in the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The Zhuanshan Tower had been returned to the Grand Formation and activated to maintain a combat-ready state. Where are they? The old man rushed over, killing intent soaring out of him. They ran. Side Long Chen. Let's go fucking kill them. First we'll go to the Xuan beasts. Then to the corrupt path. Raged the old man. Li Xiangxuan stealthily cast a glance at Hu Jinying, indicating for her to stop the old man. Now was not the time to be rash. Hu Jinying bitterly smiled. The heaven-splitting battle sect had been attacked right on their doorstep. The old man had never received such an insult before. In his current rage, no one could advise him. Old man, leave it be. Long Chen grabbed the old man and shook his head. The old man couldn't believe his eyes. Brat. Have you taken a blow to the head? How is it acceptable to just leave this be? We're not leaving this be. We're waiting for the chi flow eruption. I know you're angry. I'm actually angrier than you. But let me be willful this time. No. Since when can the heaven splitting battle sects men be insulted and not find revenge? What are you afraid of? With me present. Even if the heavens collapse. I'll raise them up. Long Chen looked around and saw that thousands of experts had come. He could only spiritually communicate. Old man, do you not know what kind of person I am? Do you really think I'm just going to suck this up? Let me tell you, they've really pissed me off this time. So I'm planning something big. I promise that if I don't kill them until they cry for their parents, I won't be Long Chen. Endure it for now, and allow those fellows secretly swaying in the wind to join them. That way, we can settle them all when the time comes. At that time, we'll kill until we're happy. Only when Long Chen put it this way did the old man's expression improve a bit. But he was still filled with rage. That's enough. Listen to me about this matter. And I guarantee you'll get a satisfactory ending from it. When have I ever disappointed you? Long Chen patted the old man's shoulder. The old man also thought that Long Chen wouldn't lie about this. His guts weren't smaller than his. In the end, he said. Fine. I'll listen. If you dare to con me, be careful of getting beaten up by me. Chapter 2167 Long Chen's proposal I'll handle it. Don't worry, promised Long Chen. He appeared calm on the surface, but inside he was raging. He didn't know why the heavens were always going against him. At the moment the dragon blood legion needed to grow, the heavens gave him a vicious blow, making him see stars. The Dragon Blood Legion had just entered the Wild World, with their main forces, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyu in there. As for Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and Yi Zhikyu, they had yet to come out of seclusion. This was their weakest moment, but their enemies had launched a ferocious attack. It was all thanks to Zi Yan coming at the right time to tie down the pill fairy that Long Chen hadn't been stopped and had managed to return fast enough. If Men Chi and Cloud hadn't been able to stop Kun Pengzi, the latter would have charged into the heart of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow races territory. Tang Wanner and the others would have been woken up from their deep meditation and would very likely have faced grievous consequences. Long Chen was sure that there were no traitors within the Dragon Blood Legion, the original devil race, or the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. Thus, this attack's timing was coincidental or perhaps simply a result of his amazing bad luck. Long Chen, what is with that saber of yours? It lacks any divine power. It wasn't like that before. If it could have helped out, we definitely would have killed Kun Pengzi. I'm irritated thinking about it, grumbled Mo Nian. It was embarrassing to have failed to kill Kun Pengzi when the two of them had joined hands. Evil Moon is busy and can't activate its divine power right now. It's too irritating to talk about. What about your side? What happened to you? Asked Long Chen. Mo Nian was covered in blood. Before Mo Nian could reply, Bao Buping opened his mouth. Furious. We also had trouble on our side. Zi Wentian personally led an army over. The old man was blocked by them and then the ancient family alliance came. That girl actually wanted to challenge our ninth form of split the heavens. 
Fortunately, Mo Nian came in time, or the heaven splitting battle sect might have been destroyed. That girl is the Blood Emperor's daughter, Shu Aluacha, supplied Mo Nian. Oh, really? The Blood Emperor's daughter? asked Long Chen. Who else? Why do you think I'm in this state? That woman's terrifying, not at all weaker than Kun Penzi. I knew things were urgent, so I went all out. After several exchanges, we were both injured, but we were still evenly matched. It was the Wine God Palace's two Kai and Chang that came over just in time. Unexpectedly, that fat butcher is really powerful. With one swing of his blade, he managed to trade injuries with Shu Aluacha, giving me an opening to heavily injure her. She fled. Then Fatty too went to help the old man, while I rushed over to your side. Now I'm embarrassed because I wasn't even able to kill Kun Penzi. Mo Nian clenched his fists, seeing their gloomy expressions. Ku Jin Ying said, You're already very powerful. Kun Penzi and Shu Aluacha are descendants of the Peng Emperor and the Blood Emperor. To be able to match them is already an amazing achievement. Novaloon.com that's right. To be able to fight with the heirs of the emperors will definitely raise your prestige. Added another elder of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Emperors were the existences known to be able to challenge sovereigns. Their descendants had inherited their foundation. And to be able to match them was already shocking. For people like Mo Nian and Long Chen. Who had come from a desolate place like the Eastern Wastelands. To be able to fight evenly against those emperor heirs was extremely heaven-defying in other people's eyes. Everyone, you've seen that the corrupt path has no qualms about attacking the righteous path. Although they were targeting me, I'm sure everyone here knows the truth, said Long Chen. These people were the leaders of the various large powers of the Martial Heaven Alliance. They were Ku Jin Ying's fervent supporters. That's right. The reason they are targeting you is because you are the greatest threat to them. Long Chen, there's no need to explain. We all understand. Only people who are incurably stupid would blame you. Well, those people have been bought and are used to slander you. But they can't confuse us, said one elder. Long Chen cupped his fists. Many thanks. The reason I established myself outside the Martial Heaven Alliance is because I didn't want to implicate you. But now you've seen it. The corrupt path. The ancient races. The Xuan beasts and the ancient family alliance have formed a profitable collaboration. To put it frankly, the corrupt path is our true enemy, while the other powers have become accomplices. You've seen their true faces this time. After this battle, Pill Valley will once more try to sway public opinion and have more sects cause internal strife within the Martial Heaven Alliance. There's no need to worry. Those people won't be able to make any waves, sneered someone. Those who could be bought and shaken with just this were all minor characters. Just martial pressure was enough to handle them. Senior has misunderstood my intention. What I want is to have those sects forever leave the Martial Heaven Alliance. Just like how we cleaned up those treacherous sects in the Martial Heaven Alliance back in the day. We will no longer include them. They can simply live or die on their own. With the Great Era present, we need allies we can trust. Not a fake army. An army that might betray us at any moment might be more dangerous than our enemies. So I would ask everyone not to bother the people who start making noises after this. Those people have their own brains. If they were fooled, then they're idiots. For a bit of profit dangled in front of them, they have no qualms about betraying their allies. So we should decide not to keep them. No matter how those people try to make a fuss, sway others, or plot, just let them be. Just tell them that once they betray the Martial Heaven Alliance, there is no coming back. They will no longer have any connection to the Martial Heaven Alliance, said Long Chen. Isn't this all too vicious? Some of the elders were hesitant. Special times require special methods. The Dark Era is coming. If we don't kick out those people with weak wills, how will we unite our people's hearts? Said Mo Nian. The Dragonblood Legion is the best example. Why is the Dragonblood Legion united? Because there is not one person who is so fickle as to switch sides with just a breeze. Just one would be enough to crumble the Legion's cohesiveness. With so many people in the Alliance, there will naturally be some idiots. We have to trim ourselves to maintain our power. Kindness will only ruin things. Mo Nian's words were hard to accept. After all, 
The Marshall Heaven Alliance was a giant organization. Stability was very important, but there was also no way to challenge his words. In the end, everyone looked at Ku Jinying. With a struggle, Ku Jinying said, We'll discuss this further later. She also found this decision difficult. Any sect would have a complicated interior. Long Chen's methods were harsh and dogmatic. They weren't quite suited to the Martial Heaven Alliance. Long Chen nodded. He also knew that the Martial Heaven Alliance would have difficulty accepting such a thing. He had said what he wanted to say. So the decision was up to them. Long Chen, do you have any plans? You can tell us, probed Ku Jinying. If she knew Long Chen's plans, she could see if she could help him out. After all, the various large powers were already keeping an eye on them. If he were to fall, it would be a huge blow to the Martial Heaven Alliance. I have no plans. I will simply make sure to get back at my enemies for this loss, with interest. Many thanks for everyone's support. If you have any troubles in the future, you can come find me and I will definitely help. Long Chen once more cupped his fists and thanks the various experts that had come nodded. Although they had come late, Long Chen still remembered this favor. Ku Jinying was disappointed. Long Chen had said everyone. That was not a reference to the Martial Heaven Alliance. In other words, this favor he remembered was not to the Martial Heaven Alliance, but to her and these people who had come. However, there was no way around it. The Martial Heaven Alliance's interior was very complicated with many people scheming for an advantage over their allies. There was also Pill Valley and the other powers trying to cause trouble. On the other hand, to abandon some sects just because they were hard to look after would betray the foundation of the Martial Heaven Alliance and the reason they were formed in the first place. So Ku Jinying had great difficulty accepting this suggestion. Seeing that Long Chen didn't want to talk anymore, Ku Jinying said some courteous words to Kei Yuzhu before bringing her people away. After sending off Ku Jinying, Long Chen turned to the old man. He stealthily said, Old man, when you go back, go find the alliance head. Why would I care about her? Glared the old man. Because the alliance head is tired. She has so much on her shoulders but no one to lean on. Are you not distressed to see her bitterly pressing forward alone? Asked Long Chen. So? Kindness cannot control troops. Her character is not suited to be the alliance head. She pulls these burdens on herself all the time. Who can help her? The old man snorted. No one but you. Her burdens can only be seen by others. But you're the only one with whom she can share the burdens. Even if you don't understand her. Sometimes you still have to help her. Or how can you be called a man? A man has a man's responsibilities. Said Long Chen solemnly. Fine, I know. How troublesome. I'll make a trip after I get back. Grumbled the old man before leaving. Chapter 2168 Jung Wenlong arrives the old man left. After that, the dragon blood warriors and the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race began to clean up the battlefield. Seeing the corpses of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows. Cloud wept. A shadow crossed the hearts of all the surviving cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows. Along with that shadow was endless hatred. Don't cry. Although they died, they did it to protect our honor. They are the heroes of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. Furthermore, even though we were outnumbered 30 to 1, you've shown the world your power. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race will never be viewed as weaklings to be bullied and hunted again, announced K. Yuzhu. That encouragement lifted their spirits slightly. The corpses were gathered, to be buried in their ancestral land. I'm sorry, race leader Kei Long Chen came over to Kei Yuzhu. It was his carelessness in sending Gu Yang, Li Qi, and the others that had resulted in so many casualties. Just now, he had glanced around and estimated that at least hundreds of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow races elites had been killed. That was a huge blow to them. K. Yuzhu shook her head. I should be apologizing to you. The Kunpeng race and the Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix race have always been our enemies. We were the ones who implicated you, Big Brother Long Chen. At this moment, Cloud jumped into Long Chen's embrace like a child, crying, I was useless. I couldn't beat the bad people. I couldn't protect my family. Long Chen hugged Cloud tightly, comforting her. You're already very powerful. 
You just came out of seclusion and haven't fully mastered your divine abilities. Once you do, you'll definitely be able to beat them. Cloud's divine abilities were truly frightening, especially the divine sparrow swallows the heavens. If she was a bit stronger or had better timing, then even Kun Penzi might have been killed. Cloud's potential was immense, but she hadn't had enough time to grow. There was no way for her to compare to an emperor's heir in terms of foundation. Just being able to reach her current level was already very worthy of praise. Really Cloud wiped away her tears. Of course. You're amazing. You just didn't have enough time. Kun Penzi is much older, and while sealed, he was nourished with divine elixir. But as long as you work hard, you'll definitely be able to beat him one day. I promise you. Long Chen rubbed Cloud's head. All right. Then I'm going to train right now. I'll definitely defeat those bad people and get our vengeance. Cloud directly flew into the Myriad Spirit Diagram and continued her cultivation. There was a special space inside where she could freely practice her divine abilities and learn to control them. Boss, we lost face for you. The Dragonblood Warriors also apologized. That was an army of 12th rank Xuan beasts. But you stopped them at the door. That's already great. Long Chen waved his hand dismissively. Long Chen did not have the slightest intention of blaming them. Just 3,000 people had been able to block the enemies from charging in. That had been the right choice because if they had charged in, then they would have massacred the weaker members of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race and might have disturbed Chu Yao and the others. However, by being focused on blocking them there, they had been forced to watch as experts of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race died one by one. Some of those experts had been their friends, people they had exchanged pointers with. What are you all scowling about? Losing and winning are very normal, let alone you. Even I wasn't able to kill Kun Penzi. Furthermore, even though it was a sneak attack, weren't you the ones to kill more of them? Also, it won't be long before we get our vengeance. When the time comes, just kill them all for me, said Long Chen. Boss, how much longer until that vengeance? We can't wait. Even if you can't wait, you have to go and rest. But don't slack off. These people have crap for brains. We can't expect them to act like normal people. So we have to be prepared for another battle at any moment, said Long Chen. Yes, the Dragonblood Warriors went back to rest, with only a portion standing guard and patrolling. Meng Chi came over, looking pale. The destruction of the original True Feather during that battle had shaken her Yuan spirit, so Long Chen told her to rest. After that, Long Chen and Mo Nian found a place to sit. Looking at the ruined battlefield, they both sighed at the same time. Novaloon.com What are you sighing about? Asked Long Chen. I'm sighing because I couldn't kill Kun Penzi. If I had been at my peak, perhaps I could have gotten rid of him and have my name shake the continent, said Mo Nian regretfully. Kun Pengzi was a true heir of an emperor, with that emperor's blood flowing in his veins. His bloodline was the strongest amongst the Xuan beasts. If he was killed, that would truly be a heaven-shaking affair. Mo Nian took out a new set of robes from a spatial ring. Back in the day, we met during a battle between the righteous and corrupt paths. I remember that fellow was called Yun Luo, right? We were still so weak back then, but by working together, we cut off his leg. Now we're stronger, but working together, we weren't even able to cut off a leg from Kun Penzi. Actually, I don't want to make extravagant demands. Just one of his wings would have been good. Thinking of Yun Luo, Long Chen smiled. That fellow had truly been miserable. The first time, he and Mo Nian had joined hands, managing to cut off Yun Luo's leg. Then it was his arm. And the last time, Long Chen cut off half his body. However, Yin Luo didn't die to Long Chen's hand in the end. Due to his consecutive defeats, he was consumed by a heart devil, and while attempting to break through to a higher realm, he lost his life to the heart devil. It's not that we're weak but that Kun Pengzi is too strong. He had a powerful daddy, someone who could challenge a sovereign. But our dads just swatted our bottoms when we did something bad. There's no way of comparing Long Chen shook his head. He picked up a handful of sand and watched it flow between his fingers. Mo Nian sighed. Disregarding his new clothes, he lazily lay on the ground, looking up at the sky. This is an era of competing with foundations and daddies. 
I'm at least better than you. My ancestors left me the five element sun hunting bow, but you didn't get anything. The five element sun hunting bow's final seal hasn't been undone, or I'd have been able to kill him. But after saying that, Mo Nian became vexed. However, that Kun Pengzi's manifestation isn't fully awakened, nor did he fully activate that halberd. He'll definitely also be stronger by the time I fully release the five element sun hunting bow. It's unknown if I'll be able to kill him then. Fuck. Mo Nian slammed the ground with a fist. Long Chen stretched and also lay on the ground. He didn't say anything. Hey, what are you thinking about? Asked Mo Nian. What can I be thinking about? When the time comes, I'll settle my debts with them. Long Chen used his hands as a pillow and closed his eyes. You don't have any cultivation base advantage or any divine item that you can use. What are you going to use to make them pay their debts? Demanded Mo Nian. He really did admire Long Chen. To be able to fight against Kun Pengzi without a divine item was impressive. If Mo Nian hadn't had the five element sun hunting bow, he would have been forced to run from Kun Pengzi. No, he probably wouldn't even be able to run away. I can sense Evil Moon is about to awaken. To tell the truth, I'm really depressed about it. I have such a powerful divine item in my hands, but all I can do is hack with it like it's a normal saber. Every time I clash with divine energy from divine items, I end up at a disadvantage. Once Evil Moon wakes up though, I'll show them why flowers are red. Long Chen smiled. Give it up. By the time Evil Moon awakens, their divine items might have awakened as well. Then you'd still be at a disadvantage, said Mo Nian. These experts from the ancient era all had trump cards. They were making preparations for the Qi flow eruption. I'm not in the habit of losing over and over again. Losing once is enough, said Long Chen. His trump cards didn't stop at Evil Moon. What he was lacking was just a bit of time. Fine. I'm going back to Mo Gate's ancestral land. I need to see my fiancé and give her the heavenly Tao fruit that you gave me. I feel like although she's fierce, she truly does care for me. Mo Nian stood, patting some dust off his pants. You still haven't given it to her. Long Chen was startled. He had given Mo Nian that heavenly Tao fruit a while ago. It's not easy for me to go back as I don't want to expose the location. But I have no other choice this time. I have to awaken my spirit blood. I'll be back soon. Hopefully, I can kill at least one of them before they awaken. Bye. Mo Nian left. Boss. Brother Wenlong has arrived. Mo Nian had just left when a dragon blood warrior rushed over. Hearing that Zheng Wenlong had come to him, Long Chen immediately thought of a certain matter. His heart raced as he rushed over. Chapter 2169 Obtaining the Heavenly Underworld Vermilion Fruit You've obtained it. Long Chen got right to the point upon seeing Zheng Wenlong. He didn't recall ever being so nervous in his life. I didn't fail your mission. Zheng Wenlong was also a bit emotional. He took out an elegant case and slowly opened it. Within it lay a fist-sized fruit. The fruit was dark red and had star-like spots. Through its exterior, they were able to see countless streams of energy flowing within it, giving off a very dangerous feeling. Long Chen, you should check to see if this is the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit that you were talking about, said Zheng Wenlong. Even Zheng Wenlong with his years of handling all kinds of treasures felt that this heavenly underworld vermilion fruit was more like a poison that would take a person's life. Yes, it's the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. Brother Wenlong, you really helped me out. Even Long Chen's voice trembled as he picked up the case. Having obtained the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit, he could finally start condensing the nethergate star. Don't thank me. It wasn't cheap to obtain this heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. It was a trade for 10 crystal cores from peak 12th rank magical beasts. Those 10 cores all contain dark energy. It's most likely very beneficial to Tian Zizi. I'm afraid he'll be able to control the corrupt god ancient tower even better. And you. Long Chen shook his head. Completely uncaring. Let him do as he pleases. As long as I have the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. It's enough. Good. Is Mo Nian still here or has he left? Asked Zheng Wenlong. He just left. What is it? Asked Long Chen. Surprised by the question. Ah. So I was too late. I was going to warn him to be careful. The Blood Emperor's daughter, Zilu Acha, 
has sent out a death warrant for him. The entire world is looking for him now. Furthermore, he already has so many enemies just on his own. He might get exposed, said Zheng Wenlong. Long Chen suddenly recalled how the Blood Emperor had once been the overlord of the ancient family alliance. Could it be that the Blood Emperor was related to why the ancient family alliance had hunted down the Mo family for so long? However, Mo Nian hadn't mentioned it, so it wasn't appropriate for Long Chen to ask. Mo Nian had brushed over his fight with Shu Aluacha and hadn't gone into any detail. Long Chen didn't know what he was thinking. He's already left, but he should be fine. Do you know the story between Mo Gate and the ancient family alliance? Asked Long Chen. Zheng Wenlong told him a story. The Mo family and the Di family were once loyal to the Blood Emperor. They had been the strongest pillars beneath the Blood Emperor. Later on, the era of the Blood Emperor passed. His descendants were supposed to continue his position. But while a bloodline might sometimes be strong, it also could decline. The Blood Emperor had been incredibly powerful. But of his descendants, Shu Aluacha was the strongest. The rest only had an ordinary aptitude. As a result, Shu Aluacha had been sealed, waiting for the Great Era to come. But even the declined Shu e family possessed immense influence. They had continued their glory with the support of the Mo family and the Di family. Later on, the ancient family alliance was established, and the Shu e family retreated behind the scenes, resulting in the Mo family and the Di family jointly managing the ancient family alliance. At that time, the Mo family gave rise to two amazing brothers, one named Hao Zing and one named Hao Chen. Legend was that the two of them had created a paragon art based on the Mo family's core techniques. The two of them had risen like shooting stars, their light almost eclipsing that of the Blood Emperor from back in the day. The experts of that time acknowledged them as the two existences with the highest chance of becoming a sovereign. It was said that the paragon art the two brothers created was able to transform heaven and earth. If used to its maximum potential, they could peer into the secrets of the heavens. For some reason, the two brothers of the Mo family vanished from this world. The D family then had a falling out with the Mo family, joining hands with the other powers of the ancient family alliance to attack the Mo family. It was said that even the Shu family participated in that attack. There were rumors that said that at that time, the brothers had reached a bottleneck and been unable to break through, resulting in them setting their sights on a relic of the Blood Emperor. But they were noticed, and so the Shu e family allied with the Di family to destroy the Mo family for the transgression. The Mo family was fractured and beaten, let alone restoring their past glory. They were hunted down by the ancient family alliance for many years. This is all hearsay though. Or perhaps I should say it's the information that the D family has allowed out into the world. For the true reasons, you would have to ask the Mo family's people, said Zheng Wenlong. Long Chen snorted. The Mo family's people wouldn't do something like that. Even an idiot would be able to figure out that the Mo family's sudden rise made the Shu E family and the D family afraid. The Shu E family couldn't produce any outstanding experts after the Blood Emperor and Shu Aluacha. Unable to suppress the Mo family and being afraid of being replaced by them, they came up with such a ludicrous reason. Even their excuse was so bad that they couldn't come up with any details. The cultivation world is just like this. If you want to attack, you can make up any garbage excuse Long Chen sneered. Back in the Phoenix Cry Empire, there had been countless open fights and hidden schemes. But now, he found that their scheming was far superior to the cultivation world. The cultivation world schemes weren't even schemes. They were overt plots. Everyone knew that what was coming out of their mouths was lies, but they still believed them. If you were strong enough, then even the biggest lie in the world could become true. Even if there were countless holes, countless chances for people to question the story, people would rather believe the lie because doing so was profitable for them. As a result, facts and truth weren't important. What was important was profit. As long as there was profit, someone could be mute or deaf. That was already completely normal. That was why when Long Chen heard any so-called history, he scoffed at it. History is written by the winners, and the winners write history that suits them. They were usually praising themselves, and many times, the reality was far from what they wrote. No wonder Mo Nian doesn't mention this. 
when the hatred reaches this level, there's no point talking about it, said Long Chen. Although Mo Nian always acted silly, he was carrying a much heavier burden than others. That made him similar to Long Chen. Both of them couldn't be bothered to argue with others. Long Chen suddenly thought of the two figures that were in Mo Nian's manifestation. Were those two figures related to those two powerful experts from the Mo family? Long Chen, the large powers have started making moves. The corrupt path is invading the righteous path. The ancient races, the Xuan beasts, the Blood Kill Hall, the ancient family alliance, they've all participated as well. The righteous path is now very stable, and this is all according to Pill Valley's usual plot. They'll sway public opinion and many people will point out that the source of all these attacks is you. You should be prepared for this, warned Zheng Wenlong. After fighting with Pill Valley for so many years, he was very familiar with their moves. In truth, this move of Pill Valley's was very amazing, and even if it was used a hundred or even a thousand times, they couldn't counter it. Every sect had a very complicated interior. When Long Chen was in the Eastern Wastelands Branch Dao sect, there were four families managing it equally. The four families had constant conflicts. After all, every person had their own views and opinions. They couldn't possibly agree all the time. Pill Valley's hands had long since stretched into the Righteous Path sects. Hu Jinying had been in seclusion for too long, and when she came out, Pill Valley's infiltration had almost reached the bone. Long Chen had seen this all very clearly. The Martial Heaven Alliance was like a badly sick person. A simple cure did not exist. To recover, the only way was to cut out the corrupted flesh. That was the only way to remove the toxins. However, Hu Jinying had always been hesitant to do this, and Pill Valley noticed that, making the giant existence which was the Martial Heaven Alliance into a tottering old person. Yes, I'm already prepared. I'm not an evil person, but I'm not a good person either. If someone raises their blade against me to take my life, I won't care if they're being fooled, or if they've done good things in the past, I'll still kill them mercilessly. It doesn't matter who they are or why they're attacking. What matters is that I want to live, so I have no way of fighting shoulder to shoulder with the Martial Heaven Alliance, said Long Chen somewhat helplessly. That's a consequence of a person with no beliefs, with no morals or restrictions for themselves. They might do anything. Even magical beasts have a bottom line and know what respect and gratitude are. But those people will only be grateful or respectful for a while. It's very difficult for them to maintain it for any length of time. That's why people are the most frightening rather than magical beasts, said Zheng Wenlong. Zheng Wenlong took out two more precious medicinal ingredients and a few spatial rings filled with things that Long Chen had asked for. With Long Chen's help, the Martial Heaven Continent's top resources had been gathered in the Huaian sect and were now slowly circulating. The resources that Long Chen had supplied were forcibly lifting up Zheng Wenlong's development. Zheng Wenlong said a few more words before leaving. He was currently extremely busy. As the high-grade market developed in the Huaian sect, the Dongfang family's business plummeted. Although the Dongfang family did have a powerful foundation, they didn't have as much variety in their treasures as the Huaian sect. Furthermore, the crystal cores of peak 12th rank magical beasts that Long Chen had brought back were shaking the continent. Those crystal cores had a variety of uses and had immediately drawn people over. Other than that, Top grade 11th tier pills had started to be sold by the Huaian sect Pill Valley had them but so did the Huaian sect moreover. The pills sold by Huaian sect had a fairer price and could be directly traded with no conditions. Even those sects with good relationships with Pill Valley were secretly doing business with the Huaian sect. One thing that the Huaian sect did that was very favorable to them was that they kept the business of their clients confidential. It didn't matter what sect or power was doing business with the Huaian sect. They all had secrets, but the Huaian sect would never expose them unless they had permission from their clients. That was why the Huaian sect had always been the most honest business on the continent. People never questioned their integrity. Once Zheng Wenlong left, Long Chen walked over to the seclusion area. Chapter 2170 The Tao of Death Chu Yao Tang Wan Er and Yi's Hikia were still in seclusion. Their auras rumbled around them, and pillars of divine light shone down from the heavens, enveloping each of them. 
the divine light illuminated their peerless beauty, making every one of them look like pure and holy fairies. Their eyes were closed and they had their hands in a seal. Their manifestations were present behind them like masses of primal chaos. Within that primal chaos, light flowed around. Powerful pressure came from them. Fortunately, they weren't disturbed this time. They're all in a critical state. The consequences would have been disastrous. Unbeknownst to Long Chen, Meng Chi had arrived. Standing beside him, Meng Chi, why aren't you resting? Your Yuan spirit needs to recuperate, said Long Chen. To block Kun Pengzi's killing blow against Cloud, Meng Chi had sacrificed the original true feather of the blue eye peacock. That was a weapon that she had refined for a long time. Part of her Yuan spirit adhered to it, so its destruction had injured her. Meng Chi shook her head. Perhaps the injury is making me jittery. I can't calm down enough to recover. I want to go out for a walk. All right, I'll accompany you for that walk. Long Chen grew worried. An injury to the Yuan spirit was complicated and would take a long time to heal. Holding Meng Qi's hand, Long Chen began to walk with her. Walking along a stone path, Meng Qi had her head down. Long Chen, why am I so useless? Even after awakening a heaven soul manifestation, I'm still so weak. I can't help you at all. Meng Qi had originally thought that with a heaven soul manifestation, she would be able to relieve some pressure off of Long Chen. However, she found that even with Cloud, she was unable to stop Kun Pengzi. She had suffered a grave blow to her confidence. Foolish wife, have you forgotten your profession? You are a beast tamer. What beast tamer fights directly unaccompanied? Long Chen kissed Meng Chi on the forehead. In truth, you are a marvel just like Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng's sword Dao is a different path than ours, but his power even frightens me. You can be even more frightening than Yu Zifeng. Your potential is greater than any of us. Really Meng Chi looked up. Of course. You're so smart. So how could I trick you? I'm not just saying this to comfort you. You've always been forced to fight using your weaknesses against your opponent's strengths. That's why I wanted you to go to the wild world. The magical beasts there are all ancient species. If you pull them into the myriad spirit diagram, you can turn them into your spirit beasts. You won't even need to fight yourself. You can wave your hand, and Kun Pengzi will have his underpants beaten off of him by your army of spirit beasts, said Long Chen. Meng Chi finally laughed. How could it be so exaggerated? Long Chen smiled. It's not exaggerated. You're the one who has been forced to fight in a sullen way these past few years. You have the myriad spirit diagram but no houseboats. You're too kind to directly capture some Xuan beasts to be your houseboats. So you're unable to unleash the full potential of the myriad spirit diagram or the power of a beast tamer. You're fighting like an ordinary soul cultivator. Once you go to the wild world. You can capture the magical beasts there as you wish. You just can't catch the Drake King. Once you're done, you'll have an army to fight for you. While you can eat and drink from the rear the wild world's magical beasts had low intelligence. With the Drake King's help, those magical beasts wouldn't dare to resist. Some of those magical beasts were not even the Drake King's subordinates. Some of them threatened its position so the Drake King wanted to get rid of them. Meng Chi was teased into laughter by Long Chen's words. Long Chen, thank you. Meng Chi leaned her head against Long Chen's shoulder warmly. The impact from this battle had been bitter for her, but Long Chen managed to lift her out of her gloom with just a few words. I should be the one thanking you. You're my mental pillar, giving me the will to press forward, said Long Chen. Whenever he felt lost or weary, seeing his hot blooded brothers and gentle women made the mist and weariness vanish from his heart. Meng Chi, I'll help you recover. Once you're fully recharged, you can help me refine some pills. Ah, first I should refine some eight bitter soul nourishing elixir. Prepare yourself. That thing is really bitter. Long Chen pulled Meng Chi back into his room and directly started refining. In the Dongfang family's auction, he had managed to buy an infinite eight bitters root that had almost been completely dead. Thanks to the primal chaos space, it had recovered and Long Chen had planted it in moss. The infinite eight bitters root was a special medicine from times forgotten. It was already extinct in the current world. Its greatest effect was raising a person's comprehension. However, other than that, 
it could be used as a supplementary ingredient in countless pill formulas. The eight bitter soul nourishing elixir was actually something that Long Chen had thought of himself. It wasn't a pill, so refining it was very easy and he quickly finished. There were eight colors gathered together, and a strong fragrance came from it. However, upon entering her mouth, the intense bitterness made Meng Chi almost spit it out. She barely managed to swallow it. It really is bitter. This isn't the true bitterness of it. The bitter realm inside its essence was destroyed by my pill flame. If it wasn't, that bitterness would make a person want to die. It's not something an ordinary person can endure. Long Chen chortled. This infinite eight bitters root that he had was not some withered old root like the one he had bought. Its medicinal effect was intense. He had diluted it by a hundred times before allowing Meng Chi to consume it. It was worthy of being a legendary existence. Meng Chi had just consumed it when nine lotus flowers appeared around her. The nine lotus soul condensing pill connected to her soul was helping her absorb the medicinal energy to nourish her Yuan spirit. Looking at the nine lotuses, Meng Chi smiled once more. This pill was constantly improving her power. Long Chen stood behind Meng Chi, sending his own spiritual strength into her body to help her recover. Meng Qi's spiritual strength had grown from a seed that originated from Long Chen's spiritual strength. Back in the day, he had saved her from the Wind Soul Pavilion. Her soul root had been destroyed, and Long Chen had endured the pain of having his own soul torn in order to rebuild a soul seed for Meng Qi. Their souls were connected, with Long Chen's spiritual strength pouring into her body. Meng Qi's Yuan spirit was rapidly recovering. Her Yuan spirit appeared on her forehead. It was a miniature version of her that was currently a bit dim, but with Long Chen's spiritual strength, the medicinal effect, and the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill, it was recovering. A day and night later, Meng Qi's Yuan spirit finally recovered some of its original light. However, this was just enough to suppress her injury, preventing it from growing worse. In her current state, there was no way she could use spiritual strength to fight. However, this was enough. Like this, her full recovery was just a matter of time. Now she could help him refine pills. That was because she only needed to maintain a steady output. Not like in a fight where her spiritual strength would sometimes have to fluctuate violently and sometimes be gentle. What kind of fruit is that? Asked Meng Chi when Long Chen took out the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. Even now, he was still excited just by looking at it. This is the main ingredient for condensing my sixth star, the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. Damn it, I'm too excited. My hands trembling, cursed Long Chen. He had a sharp knife he used to cut open the fruit lightly. His movements were very slow, and his spiritual strength followed, locking in the juices. Long Chen was being as careful as possible, so careful that Meng Chi was also getting nervous. Black spots appeared inside the fruit as he cut it open. Those black spots were constantly transforming, giving off a strange feeling. Seeing their transformation, Meng Chi turned pale, feeling faint. Don't look at it. Your soul is still recovering. These death spots embody the Tao of Death, said Long Chen quietly. The Tao of Death. Meng Chi jumped in shock. Yes, this heavenly underworld vermilion fruit is toxic. It grows in lands of absolute death and will only grow when nourished by endless death chi. It's a very strange fruit. I would guess that this heavenly underworld vermilion fruit actually comes from the corrupt god cemetery. It is a priceless treasure to someone at the peak of the life star realm who has yet to comprehend life and death. Do you know why? Why? Because by eating it, you can die in peace. Meng Chi was speechless. Why bother going to the trouble of eating it to die? Why not just smash your head into a wall and make it faster? He, it's true. By eating it. You can die very quickly, but seven weeks later, you will come back to life. The fruit is toxic, but the core is a priceless treasure that can cure it. So after consuming it, you will first die, then come back to life. You can truly experience the feeling of death. It can give someone an almost 100% chance of comprehending life and death, allowing them to attack the nether passage realm, said Long Chen. Just at this moment, Long Chen finished cutting it. 
A pearl-like object rolled out of the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. Chapter 2171 Refining the Nethergate Pill This pearl-like object was the fruit pit of the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. A thin layer of some sticky material covered it. The pit emitted a thrumming life force. When it rolled onto the wooden table, the table began to creak as sprouts grew out of the wood. What a powerful life force! exclaimed Meng Chi. Of course, without it, this heavenly underworld vermilion fruit would just be poison. Whoever ate it would die. Long Chen wiped off some sweat from his forehead. He had been intensely cautious just now. If he had broken the protection of that thin layer protecting the pit, all the fruit's value would be lost. What Long Chen wanted was the pit. He sent it to the primal chaos space and buried it in the soil. However, even after waiting a long time, there was no reaction. In the end, Long Chen carefully buried it in the core of the primal chaos space, a region of black soil, that was a land of death that swallowed any life forms. Within this land of death, the heavenly Tao tree in the middle was flourishing. It wasn't affected by the death energy at all. The heavenly Tao tree had heavenly Tao fruits littering it. Many of those were of rank 9 celestials and below. Long Chen couldn't even be bothered to pluck them. The curious thing was that even when he killed Empyreans with awakened manifestations, he didn't receive stronger heavenly Tao fruits. At the edge of the black and yellow soil was a black and white grass group. The grass had grown tall and was filled with life and death energy. This grass was the Yun Yang immortal grass he had obtained in the Yun Yang world. Back then the Yun Yang immortal grass had cut off one of its roots for him, and now it had spread. Long Chen planted the fruit pit into the black soil, his heart clenching. This was a crucial ingredient to condensing the Nethergate star. Just one fruit was useless to him. He needed an endless supply of them. The fruit pit cracked. Some kind of white liquid flowed out of it and was absorbed by the black soil. That white liquid was filled with endless life force. But when landing in the black soil, it was like a drop of water landing in a desert, instantly vanishing. Long Chen stared closely at the fruit pit. After an incense stick's worth of time, all its life energy had faded. From its withered pit, black roots suddenly began to appear. It worked Long Chen immediately became emotional. When the pit's life energy was fully exhausted, it actually began to grow once more. An hour later, the pit had become a tiny sapling. This sapling was pitch black and covered in sinister looking spots. Ha ha ha. Success. Long Chen was delighted. He directly began to send his spiritual yuan into the primal chaos space, urging on the sapling's growth. He also took out a corpse of a magical beast and tossed it into the black soil. The black soil devoured the corpse. Life energy filled the primal chaos space. The sapling quickly grew to three feet. At that time, it finally began to split into nine branches. It then began to flower, but then its growth clearly slowed down. He found that all the corpse's energy had been used up. Taking out a jade knife, Long Chen began cutting away the roots. Although the tree was still small, the roots were very long, stretching deep into the soil. He split one of the roots into foot-long segments and buried them into the soil. Seeing the roots also begin to shoot sprouts, he relaxed. Like this, he wouldn't need to wait until it bore fruit. He could directly plant a mass of them. In one go, he planted hundreds of the roots and tossed in a dozen magical beast corpses. Those magical beasts had been the spoils from the wild world. They were mostly at the 11th rank because wild didn't care for 11th rank magical beasts. Now he only liked 12th rank magical beasts. There were also some magical beasts that didn't have much energy in their meat. So Wild didn't eat them. He preferred the physically powerful magical beasts. He had said that they could sustain him for longer. Seeing the heavenly underworld trees rapidly growing, Long Chen retreated from the primal chaos space, feeling comfortable after he no longer needed to keep an eye on them. As for the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit which Pity had plucked out, he took it and placed it into his pill furnace. He summoned his pill flame, beginning to refine the fruit's essence. As the heat inside the furnace rose, the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit began to dissolve. Black Chi floated out of it, filled with death energy. Long Chen, can this really be used in medicine? Men Chi felt a chill as she looked at the death mist. Her intuition told her that she absolutely could not touch it. It'll be fine. 
The heavenly underworld vermilion fruit is too toxic, so I have to expel a bit of it first until I can use the energy that I can endure. With other precious medicines mixed in, it can be consumed, said Long Chen. Meng Chi felt a natural aversion to the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit because she was a soul cultivator, while the fruit targeted the soul. After an incense stick's worth of time, the pill furnace had turned fully black. Long Chen hesitated. Theoretically, he should expel this toxic vapor now, but after thinking about it, he decided to leave this with Guo Ran. He took out a translucent pill and placed it on the furnace. As the pill passed over the furnace, the black chi was rapidly sucked inside. The pill instantly turned pitch black. This was also an antitoxin pill, but it was not to be used inside the body. Instead, it absorbed poison into it. Long Chen used seven of those pills before he could absorb all the black chi. Now, a black powder lay within the pill furnace. That was the essence of the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. Long Chen then took out 380 medicinal powders he had already prepared. He had only been lacking the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. Long Chen looked at Meng Chi. Seeing her nod, he began heating up the furnace once more, slowly merging the medicinal powders. However, when they merged with the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit, the pill furnace shook. All the medicinal powders inside exploded. What Meng Chi was startled by the failure. Long Chen looked at the powders, swiping a hand across the powder. He tasted the result and immediately spat it out, cursing, that bastard Tian Zizi, he did something to the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit, he added something strange to it, there was no problem with the medicinal powders, however, the death energy seemed to have been broken by some kind of energy, he wasn't able to figure out what it was exactly for now, he hadn't expected Tian Zizi to be so crafty as to have even tricked Zheng Wenlong. Even Long Chen hadn't sensed it until he tried refining it into a pill. In other words, if someone else had tried consuming the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit, there would have been no effect of comprehending life and death. They might instead lose their life. Tian Zizi might have sensed something and so he tried to con the buyer. Fortunately, I only wanted the pit, snickered Long Chen. He had Meng Chi rest while he returned to the primal chaos space. The magical beast corpses had been consumed, and the trees had grown. They started to flower and bear fruit. However, the fruit was still too small and was a cyan color. The first one he had planted was a bit bigger, but there was still some time until it was fully ripened. Long Chen tossed more magical beast corpses, and the trees rapidly grew. On the border of the black soil and the yellow soil. The yin yang immortal grass were also growing larger and even faster than the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. Fortunately, the world trees had reached their peak and couldn't absorb any more life energy, or the growth of the rest of the vegetation would have slowed down. Although the yin yang immortal grass was absorbing the majority of the life energy, Long Chen continued supplying more corpses. Two hours later, the first heavenly underworld tree he had planted finally bore fully matured fruit. There were only nine heavenly underworld vermilion fruits growing on it. If none of those nine was plucked, no more fruit would ever be born. Furthermore, thanks to Long Chen's efforts in planting, he now had tens of thousands of heavenly underworld trees. Feeling that this was enough, he stopped planting. He plucked the mature fruit and returned to refining. This time, everything went very smoothly, but he still didn't dare to be the slightest bit careless. He could not make a mistake. The medicinal powder of the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit needed to go through nine mergers. When the final one was completed, Long Chen closed the lid. He realized that his back was covered in sweat. He had been too nervous. This would decide whether he could condense the sixth star. Only then would he have the power to beat these heavenly geniuses. If Zi Yan had not helped him stop the pill fairy, then with Evil Moon still not awake, he would not have been able to beat the Brahma Divine Diagram. Long Chen needed power to control his own fate. He didn't feel like leaving his life to others. If it weren't for Zi Yan, he would have suffered a terrible defeat this time. That made him feel a strong sensation of crisis. He had to get stronger, and this nethergate pill he was refining right now was his greatest hope. Suddenly, the pill furnace began to shake intensely. Long Chen's expression changed. These fluctuations came much earlier than he had expected. Meng Chi, 
Help me. Long Chen shouted and slammed both hands down on the lid. Chapter 2172 The Nethergate Star's location Long Chen had given the refining process a high estimation of difficulty, but for the Nethergate pill to start acting up now signified that he would need to use up even more spiritual strength to refine it. The pill furnace rumbled as if some wild magical beast was trying to charge out. Meng Chi immediately sent her spiritual strength pouring toward Long Chen. With her help, divine runes appeared all over the pill furnace, like chains sealing it tightly. However, the chains had just appeared when black runes appeared as well. Like beetles, they began to bite and tear into the runic chains. What damn thing is this? Long Chen jumped, never having encountered such a thing. Those black runes were like cockroaches. They were only an inch long, but as they tore into his runic chains, he felt his spiritual strength vanishing from his control as if it was being consumed by them. They are like corpse-eating insects, cried Meng Chi it seems so. Long Chen looked and saw that they were really similar. Suddenly, a sharp sound came from the pill furnace. A needle-like pain stabbed into Long Chen and Meng Chi's souls. Long Chen relaxed his hold, and the runic chains crumbled. The lid looked like it was about to be forced open. I refuse to believe I can't suppress you. Long Chen furiously slammed the lid with his spiritual strength, once more sealing it. Flames surged violently as Long Chen quickened the refining process. The greater the heat, the greater the resistance. Shadows appeared on the pill furnace, and wailing sounds could be heard, starting to affect Long Chen. Boom. Finally, the pill furnace shook one last time and became silent. Meng Chi sighed with relief. However, Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit happy. He actually took out Devil Moon and slowly opened the lid. When the slightest opening appeared, a black figure shot out at Long Chen's head. Even Meng Chi, with her experience in many battles and dangers, almost screamed upon seeing that figure. It was a rotting corpse. Only its eyes glowed with a green light. A mouthful of sinister-looking white teeth reached toward Long Chen. Just as it rushed out, it was blown apart by a swing of Long Chen's saber. The black figure exploded transforming into a footlong bat that flew away. It had just started flying when Long Chen slammed it into the ground. It then finally transformed into a perfectly spherical medicinal pill that rolled on the ground. There was a sinister face inside the pill, howling crazily. Why is this medicinal pill so ferocious? asked Meng Chi. A medicinal pill containing the Tao of Death exists to exterminate life. But this isn't really ferocious. Once I awaken its spirit and have it go through tribulation, it might rival an Empyrean, estimated Long Chen. Really do you think alchemy masters only know how to refine pills? Long Chen smiled. True alchemy masters can refine powerful pills that can actually cultivate. For example, your Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill. If it was a fighting type pill, its power would not be inferior to your own. Then is it possible to refine a legion of medicinal pills? Asked Meng Chi. Long Chen shook his head and took out the other nethergate pills that were inside the furnace. Awakening a spirit is difficult. It requires your own soul to be injected inside to guide it. Also, not all alchemists are able to refine top grade pills. Tribulation pills are also the strongest. However, the requirements are too strict. Others don't have the ability to do such a thing and I don't have the time. Long Chen examined the nethergate pills. Only one was top grade, and the rest were middle grade. That had been done on purpose, as after all, this was his first time refining this pill. He didn't want to attempt a furnace of all top grade pills just in case something unexpected happened. Long Chen crushed the only top grade pill. A spiritual fluctuation spread as if the pill was emitting its resentment before its death. It felt like a curse. Long Chen, are you sure you want to eat this kind of pill? Asked Meng Chi worriedly. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He also didn't feel that this was something edible, but he had no choice. After he crushed the pill, he saw a small runic imprint at the core. Looking closely, he found that it looked like a skull. Meng Chi also saw it and she shook her head. I'm confident that this is a poison pill. Even though Meng Chi wasn't an alchemist, just based on her senses. She knew this was poison. Let's just refine another furnace of pills first. Long Chen once more heated up the furnace. This time, he had Meng Chi bring out the Nine Lotus Soul Condensing Pill as well. 
With their previous experience, the second furnace of pills was quickly finished. Long Chen had just opened the lid when multiple figures shot out. Long Chen slammed them down with Evil Moon and drew the pills into the primal chaos space to have Lai Long make them undergo tribulation. The Nethergate pills that had gone through tribulation were even more berserk. They actually attacked Lai Long, and Lai Long almost destroyed them in its rage. Long Chen hastily pulled the pills back. Having Meng Chi guard them, he looked at the pill in his hand. It was emitting endless death chi, clenching his teeth. He popped it into his mouth. He had just swallowed it when it dissolved and spread throughout his whole body. Black Chi surged out of him, followed by black runes that crawled over his skin. His life force was starting to be consumed. Meng Qi's heart clenched. Long Chen looked to be surrounded by death. A black mist appeared over his head. Long Chen's eyes were closed, and he was sweating. As his life force dwindled away, he found that in just an incense stick's worth of time, he would be poisoned to death. However, he believed in the pill sovereign's memories. There was no way that this pill could kill him. His body then turned numb and stiff, no longer listening to his orders. The death chi began to surge toward his mind sea, wanting to wipe out his yuan spirit. Just as the death chi charged into his mind sea, the silent divine gate opened. The divine gate star blazed with light. Like a giant mouth, it devoured the death chi. As the death chi was sucked into the divine gate star, Long Chen's body quickly returned to normal. Seeing Long Chen survive, Meng Chi finally relaxed. The black chi around him vanished. Opening his eyes, Long Chen sensed his body, but he couldn't find the location of the sixth star. What is going on? Was there not enough medicinal energy? Long Chen swallowed a second pill. This time, he had refined seven top-grade nethergate pills. With the second pill, he found that his body had formed a resistance to the poison, and the Divine Gate Star automatically absorbed its energy even before it invaded his mind sea. It directly sucked the poison all up. In just two breaths time, the second pill's energy was consumed. Long Chen ate a third, fourth, and fifth pill. Finally, after the fifth Nethergate pill, Long Chen felt the Divine Gate Star unleash a blaze of light. His Danchen heated up momentarily and Long Chen immediately checked it out. He found that a whirlpool had appeared at the top of his danshan. The whirlpool was still very small and almost impossible to sense. The Nethergate star is actually located above my danshan. His danshan was crippled. His spirit root had been extracted, turning his danshan into a land of death. Only the primal chaos bead existed at the center of his danshan. Although the Nethergate star hadn't been condensed, the location was now determined. It was just unexpected for Long Chen. Long Chen consumed the remaining two Nethergate pills, but there was almost no reaction. He and Meng Chi refined three furnaces of pills in a row this time, making 20 Nethergate pills. After consuming 25 Nethergate pills, the whirlpool above his danshan finally stabilized. It's over. This Nethergate star is another bottomless pit. I don't even know how many Nethergate pills it will take to condense a star. And then there are the nine star transformations. How many years will it take? Long Chen wanted to curse. What kind of joke was this? Other people might die of joy after obtaining a top grade tribulation pill, while here he was consuming them like candy, and it wasn't enough. Could the nine star hegemon body art be more of a con art? There was no way he could continue like this. If all he could do was refine pills all day, wouldn't he end up coughing up blood from the frustration? Just as Long Chen's expression was darkening, a message appeared in his mind that delighted him. He stared at the moon and star refining furnace with disbelief. Chapter 2173 Coming out of seclusion together just now, a spiritual message had appeared in his mind. Although it was very weak, Long Chen was sure it had come from the moon and star refining furnace. Moon and star refining furnace, is it really you? You're awake. Long Chen was ecstatic. The moon and star refining furnace was finally recovering. Another message came from it. It said that as long as it was given enough spiritual strength, it could automatically refine the pills for Long Chen. Will you be all right? You're very weak right now. Long Chen was worried. The moon and star refining furnace's item spirit had almost died. Even if it had been recently nourished by Long Chen, that was far from enough. This time, the moon and star refining furnace didn't reply. 
It began to suck the medicinal powders Long Chen had placed nearby inside of it. Meng Qi, give your spiritual strength to the pill furnace, said Long Chen. Meng Qi didn't understand, but she sent her spiritual strength inside. Long Chen also had Huo Long send one of its split bodies inside the furnace. One medicinal powder after another merged inside. Huo Long only maintained a constant output, while the pill furnace controlled the heat itself. The heat control was perfect, and the alchemy process was being done even faster than Long Chen had managed. The starry images around the moon and star refining furnace began to move. Meng Chi hadn't had to use up much of her spiritual strength before the refinement was finished. What shocked Long Chen the most was that the nethergate pills inside were still in slumber. They weren't as fierce as when he had refined them. Too miraculous. Long Chen saw that the pills were all top grade and not at all inferior to his own refinements. He once more asked the furnace if this process hurt it, and it said that refining pills was beneficial to its recovery. It wanted to recover as fast as possible. Meng Chi calculated it. W.I. her spiritual strength. She could refine over 10 furnaces of pills in one go. However, just then, the nine lotus soul condensing pill flew out and the two began to communicate. Long Chen, we shouldn't refine pills inside. It says that we should refine in a spacious place. That way, the moon and star refining furnace can use its astral power better, and it can help me recover my spiritual strength faster. We can refine even more nethergate pills then, said Meng Chi. By it, she was referring to the nine lotus soul condensing pill connected to her soul. Long Chen directly left the room. He found a tall mountain in the northwestern part of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's territory. From there, it was possible to see Chu Yao and the others in the distance. Meng Chi began to refine pills, while Long Chen consumed them. As he consumed more nethergate pills, the whirlpool above his dantian spun faster and faster. It quickly grew. At the same time, he felt the Feng Fu, Aliath, Life Fate and Enlightenment Palace stars start to react as they formed some kind of connection with the whirlpool. The energy of the medicinal pills continued to be first absorbed by the Divine Gate star. It then underwent some kind of transformation before being sent to the Nethergate star. There seemed to be some kind of special connection between the Divine Gate star and the Nethergate star. However, Long Chen could not tell what that connection was. After three days, the whirlpool above his dantian had grown from the size of a sesame seed to three feet. He could feel a subtle transformation in the other five stars as well. At this time, Gu Yang came over to find them. Long Chen and Meng Qi ceased refining and eating pills. Boss, what is going on? Gu Yang had come straight from the wild world. The skyscraping world was mostly cut off from the martial heaven continent. So Gu Yang only learned now that their side had faced an attack over here. The transportation formation was not something convenient to use and required a few days in between uses. It's fine. Our enemies necks have gotten witchy. I didn't tell you because there's no need to bother. How are things in the wild world? Asked Long Chen. Everything's fine there. The devil race continues to attack. But the original devil race has gathered so many of their devil cores that their divine seals have grown incredibly powerful. They're more than enough to suppress even the stronger devil races. No one manages to leave alive. If they didn't leave a few of the devil race experts for us as training, we wouldn't even have a chance to fight, said Gu Yang. The original devil race's divine seals continued to grow stronger, while the dragon blood warriors were also fighting happily, gradually coming to control the power of awakened Empyreans. What about Guo Ran? asked Long Chen. He's finished with the armor and weapons. Xia Chen is in the middle of adding runes to them. They should be usable within 10 days, said Gu Yang. Gu Yang had tried out the armor and weapons. He found that his power doubled while using them. But more importantly, the dragon blood warriors would be able to freely transfer energy between themselves thanks to the large formation linking them. Good. We're going to be doing something big soon, said Long Chen a chilly light appearing in his eyes. Boss, I heard many bad rumors about the Dragonblood Legion on my way back here, Gu Yang said. I know, they're definitely saying something about colluding with the original devil race and trying to destroy the martial heaven continent, said Long Chen. 
the Marshall Heaven Alliance's members aren't fully loyal. There are some accomplices inside telling them that smart people would leave the Alliance to avoid being implicated. I've long since gotten used to this play from Pill Valley. Let them be. It's not like we have time to prove anything. That would just waste our time and make us fall for Pill Valley's trap. But there are some idiots who have been tricked and started joining them, said Gu Yang irritably. He had seen quite a few on the streets shouting about Long Chen's sins. Tricked? Not really. Most of them are well aware of the truth. They're not stupid. In fact, they think themselves clever for getting some extra profit out of this. It's fine. Why hate pitiful people? We just have to look after ourselves. Boom. Suddenly, the entire territory of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race shook. A powerful pressure descended that caused Gu Yang's expression to change. He turned, ready to fight any enemies. When he was grabbed by Long Chen, it's one or Long Chen saw a hurricane at up a distant mountain. It tore into the sky and blasted apart the clouds. One or's manifestation has awakened, exclaimed Men Chi. The hurricane tore through space, leaving cracks in the void. It became a sea of wind blades. Within that sea of wind blades stood Tang Wan Er, looking unspeakably beautiful with her white dress and black hair dancing in the wind. The wind blade slowly faded, and the world returned to calm. Tang Wan Er opened her eyes. A windmill like rune forest of wind blades appeared in her eyes, slowly spinning. Those runes slowly faded, and only then did her dress and hair stop fluttering. Tang Wan Er looked at Long Chen and smiled, spreading her arms. She flew over like a breeze. Long Chen laughed and extended his arms to hug her. As a result, just as his arms closed around her, she vanished, reappearing in front of Men Chi and hugging her. Big sister Men Chi, I've also awakened my manifestation. Long Chen's arms hung there. He awkwardly put them down while Gu Yang looked into the distance like he hadn't seen anything. You. Men Chi shook her head as she hugged Tang Wan Er. He. Long Chen. Are you angry? Tang Wan Er finally released Men Chi and held Long Chen's hand. Why would I be angry? A big figure with a heaven soul manifestation can be considered a peerless expert. Someone like that naturally doesn't care about a little person like me, sighed Long Chen. Before Tang Wan Er could reply, the sound of something cracking rang out. They hastily looked over to see an ice mountain fracture. Zhikyu is also coming out of seclusion. Long Chen was delighted. The ice mountain suddenly exploded, transforming into ice crystals that sparkled with all the colors of the rainbow. A jade-like figure walked out, looking like a flawless ice sculpture. Yi's Hikia was surrounded by flying ice crystals. Before Long Chen could greet her, the vegetation on a mountain covered in greenery began to rumble. The plants there suddenly grew explosively as a vast life energy erupted. Chu Yao is also coming out. Long Chen's jaw dropped. The three of them were coming out of seclusion together. Now there would be nothing to fear. Chapter 2174 The Dragon Blood Legion gathers Yi's Hikyu and Chu Yao also came out of seclusion, and adding in Men Chi and Tang Wan Er, they were finally together after their months of seclusion. The three of them were shocked and enraged to hear what had happened. Don't worry about it. We'll be getting our vengeance soon. When the Qi flow eruption occurs, they'll appear again, said Long Chen. Then we'll make their blood run like rivers, said Yi's Hikyu icily, an unprecedented killing intent in her eyes. Men Chi and Chu Yao exchanged a glance, knowing that this level of rage was because of the Pill Fairy. They had thought that Pill Fairy would end up with them, so for her to betray them was unacceptable. Zhikyu, you have to control your aura more, even if I can endure it. Men Chi can't. Long Chen was the closest to Yi's Hikyu and was covered in frost. Her ice chi had burst out in her fury, covering the land in frost. Although Long Chen was standing in front of Men Chi, Men Chi was a soul cultivator with a weak body, and she was shivering. Yi's Hikyu had awakened a heaven soul manifestation. Although she had yet to learn its name and so she had not fully merged with it, the ice chi she possessed now was on a level that even chilled Long Chen. Sorry, I'm not quite able to control my manifestation's power, said Yi's Hikyu. I'm the same. It's a good thing that my life energy isn't affecting much. Comforted Chu Yao. Where is Ruian? Asked Long Chen. When they had gone into seclusion, Lu Ruian had been in Chu Yao's spiritual space. It's rare for you to think about me. 
LaRue Ian's voice rang out and she appeared, wearing an old black dress. There was plenty of her white skin revealed, as well as two large mounds on her chest. LaRue Ian stood beside Chu Yao. There was a half black, half white, cross-shaped petal on her forehead. Where did that come from? We're family, so how could I not think of you? Long Chen awkwardly laughed. Lu Ruyan's hostility toward him still existed, but she still listened to Chu Yao. Cloud also came over as they talked, and now that everyone was gathered, they were all excited. Tang Wan'er especially was excited to have awakened a heaven soul manifestation, feeling the immense power they now possessed. Long Chen felt much more confident. At this time, the transportation formation linking the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's territory and the wild world could finally be activated once more. Long Chen had Meng Qi and the others all enter. They could stand guard over the wild world. However, in exchange, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were to bring back 3,000 dragon blood warriors and the healing warriors. That way, the dragon blood warriors would be split half there and half here. Meng Qi could focus on capturing magical beasts, while Chu Yao, Yi's Hikyu, Tang Wan'er, Cloud, and Lu Ruyan could test their new power on the magical beasts and the devil race in the wild world. Originally, Meng Qi was still worried about going, but Long Chen promised that there would be no problems on his side. He told her to quickly capture some magical beasts. This time, the transportation formation they used was one way. This formation was only capable of going from the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race to the wild world, not back. The double-direction transportation formation not only cost many times the amount of resources to activate, but it also took a long time to recover from its usage. The resources weren't that important to Long Chen right now, but there was simply no time. During this time, Xia Chen had been working himself sick, never resting. It could be said that he was now the weariest member of the Dragonblood Legion. The day after Meng Qi and the others entered the Wild World, Li Qi and Ming Guan brought back the Dragonblood Warriors. They were very careful on their way back. The current Dragonblood Legion was extremely powerful. During the attack from the Xuan Beasts on the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, just 3,000 Dragonblood Warriors had been enough to not only block a heavenly genius like Huang Fian but also form an iron wall that blocked the Xuan beasts from entering. Now that there were 3,000 Dragonblood warriors standing guard here, as well as Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan, they would definitely be safe. Furthermore, this sudden attack from the corrupt path, Xuan beasts, and ancient family alliance had raised the alert level of the righteous path. If they did try another sneak attack, they would not be able to catch them off guard. The Righteous Path would be fighting them in all-out war, and that was not what they wanted. The Righteous Path sects were on high alert, with even Pill Valley promoting that sense of danger. Things looked tense, but in reality, there was no possibility of another battle. The last sneak attack had failed, and so there wouldn't be a second one. With the 6,000 Dragonblood Warriors standing guard, Long Chen had 50 of the healing warriors help him refine pills. They were all powerful wood cultivators with powerful souls. Although they couldn't compare to Meng Qi and Chu Yao, due to awakening their manifestations, their spiritual strength was even stronger than ordinary alchemists. As they rotated through sending their spiritual strength into the moon and star refining furnace, the rate at which they refined pills surpassed the rate at which Long Chen could consume them, due to the fact that the Nethergate pills energy needed to go through the Divine Gate star. It took some time absorbing each pill. Long Chen was eating as fast as he could, but the Nethergate pills began to pile up. Ten days later, he had over 10,000 Nethergate pills. The moon and star refining furnace was growing stronger as it refined, increasing the speed. It seemed even crazier than Long Chen, not giving the healing warriors any chance to recover. Once a person's spiritual strength was exhausted, a second person would immediately step forward. Fortunately, there were enough of the healing warriors to recover as they rotated through. Otherwise, even if both Meng Qi and Chu Yao were present, they wouldn't be able to keep up with this crazy rate. Seeing that there were too many Nethergate pills, Long Chen switched to refining life star pills. The healing warriors continued to share their spiritual strength with the moon and star refining furnace, 
while Long Chen crazily ate pills. The whirlpool above his dantian was growing bigger with every passing day. When it reached a size of 9 feet and 9 inches, it finally stopped growing. The whirlpool began to condense. That was a sign that it was about to become a star. Just as Long Chen was crazily eating pills, a shadow fell across the continent. That was because on this day, a giant upheaval occurred in the interior of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The upheaval was even greater than the last time. That was because Pill Valley, the Xuan Beasts, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Races, and the Ancient Family Alliance had all indicated that Long Chen had colluded with the original Devil Race. They said that if the Martial Heaven Alliance continued to harbor Long Chen, they would join forces to destroy the Martial Heaven Alliance. The experts of the large powers had started gathering. As for within the Martial Heaven Alliance, there were many dissenting voices. Some of the powers loyal to the Martial Heaven Alliance also began to give rise to internal strife. Some sects even had a fight for power with new leaders coming into control. The righteous sects that had previously left the Martial Heaven Alliance and joined Pill Valley's side were especially vocal, spreading rumors left and right. However, no matter how people pressured her, Hu Jinying did not react. She seemed determined not to lower her head. The thing that made people's hearts sink was that Long Chen had not responded after the battle. He had been forced to miserably flee in the battle at the end of the Heaven's Valley. Then he and Mo Nian together had been unable to defeat Kun Pengzi. Rumors spread that Long Chen was afraid and no longer dared to be arrogant in front of the ancient era's supreme geniuses. The time of the Dragonblood Legion's domination had passed. Some people even felt that the current Long Chen wasn't even as strong as Yu Zifeng. Some even said that the Dragonblood Legion's interior had fractured, with the captains going against Long Chen. In any case, the streets were a flutter with all kinds of gossip. None of that gossip was favorable to Long Chen. The spiritual qi on the continent grew denser day by day. That signified that the qi flow eruption would occur any day. It was unknown just how many monstrous geniuses were lying in wait. What kind of fight would occur when the qi flow eruption occurred? The current martial heaven continent was like a volcano on the verge of erupting. It was accumulating power, filling the atmosphere with a tense air. The continent was like a bowstring growing totter and totter. Over half a month passed in seemingly no time at all. On this day, Long Chen came walking out of his seclusion. Ha ha ha, this nap was refreshing. Evil Moon's wild laughter rang out in Long Chen's mind. Just yesterday. Evil Moon had begun to emit spiritual fluctuations indicating that it was awakening. Evil Moon, I was really depressed without your help during this time. If you let me down again, I'll drop you in dung, warned Long Chen. Ha ha ha, don't worry about it. I've already fully recovered. We'll hack whoever you want to hack, said Evil Moon confidently. Long Chen nodded and checked the heaven flipping seal. It had also awoken and was currently communicating with him spiritually. It had awakened all its divine runes and knew how to use them during this time. Long Chen could finally control the true power of the Heaven Flipping Seal. Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal had awakened, filling Long Chen with confidence. After that, Long Chen walked into the plaza of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Race. The experts of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Race and the Dragonblood Warriors had already gathered. Boss. Now it should be time for our vengeance, right? Guo Ran stood at the front, his eyes blazing with light. Chapter 2175 Conspiracy Guo Ran, Xia Chen, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan were all looking expectantly at Long Chen. Yu Zifeng was also standing with them quietly, an icy killing intent in his eyes. Yu Zifeng had spent half a month recuperating in the Bidang family. Learning that he had been unconscious while so many things happened had ashamed him, and now that they were moving out, he was planning on getting his vengeance. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Cloud, and Lu Ruian were also present. The Dragonblood warriors were like a sharp blade ready to launch its attack. Guo Ran is correct. This time, we're not just getting vengeance. We're fighting over the qi flow of the continent that will increase our power. We all know just how many enemies we have. So when we occupy our chi flow stream, remember this. Anyone who competes with us is our mortal enemy. We cannot have the slightest mercy on them. There is no need for any compassion for them. 
said Long Chen. Boss, it doesn't matter if they are our enemies or just plain idiots. If they want us dead, we'll kill them, declared Guo Ran. Long Chen nodded and turned to Kei Yuzhu. She was leading 10,000 of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's top geniuses. Kei Yuzhu had brought them all out. She was betting the future of her race on Long Chen and on this chi flow eruption. Race leader, there might be a bit too many enemies when the time comes. Don't get angered by them. We don't want to mess up, warned Long Chen. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race had been hunted down by the Xuan beasts for many years now, and many of their experts had died, so they could not lose control when they saw those Xuan beasts. We will follow the lead of the Dragonblood Legion. None of the disciples of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race will act out, said Kei Yuzhu. Good, then let's move out. We'll make sure the entire martial heaven continent remembers us. Long Chen waved his hand and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows transformed into their true bodies and flew out. Cloud let out a bird cry, flying at the front with Long Chen, Meng Chi, and the others standing on her back. They majestically flew out of their territory, going straight toward the yin-yang world. Heavens, Long Chen has come out. Countless sects and experts were startled by this display. They stared in shock at their procession. What are they doing? Are they looking for vengeance? Long Chen had been silent for a long time even in the face of all the rumors flying around. The Pill Fairy and Kun Pengzi's power had made Long Chen's reputation shrink. The Dragonblood Legion didn't disband. That rumor was nonsense, said one person upon seeing the Dragonblood Legion still in peak condition. HMPH. So what? They have long since stopped being unrivaled, and Long Chen is now just a second-rate character, with so many enemies. Who knows who will kill him? He's a fool for coming out, shouted another person. A golden flash of light appeared, going right past that person's ear and destroying it. Guo Ran's voice rang out from the sky. Someone like you dares to criticize my boss? Keep talking and I'll sew your mouth shut. Brainless jealousy is really annoying to listen to. That person was pale. The attack had come before he could even tell what was happening. If Guo Ran had wanted to kill him. Not even a hundred lives would be enough to survive. The surrounding experts jumped. The person talking was an Empyrean. Guo Ran had been flying over and managed to unleash such an accurate and controlled attack. This feat was even more difficult than a large area killing blow. No, think about it. They're probably looking for the Qi flow eruption. Someone suddenly let out a startled cry. The spiritual chi in the air was now so dense that it was no different than having a spirit gathering formation active. People were saying that the chi flow eruption would most likely be in the next few days. Let's follow them. Some of the more brazen ones began to fly in that direction. But Long Chen's group was flying so fast that these people had long since lost sight of them. Flying through the clouds, Long Chen felt the entire martial heaven continent starting to shake. A surge in power appeared. The Qi flow eruption is coming. Cloud, speed up, shouted Long Chen. Cloud responded. All her feathers lit up, and she shot away like a shooting star. The other cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows sped up as well. Following, even the Kunpeng race amongst the Xuan beasts would have to take second place to them when it came to speed. They quickly arrived at the entrance to the Yun Yang world. However, the region looked different from when Long Chen had arrived. The entrance could not be seen. Are we lost? Long Chen was the first to sense something wrong. HMPH. A little spirit void illusion formation thinks it can stop the Dragonblood Legion? Break. Xia Chen suddenly threw out a formation disc a golden rune lit up like a blazing sun on it. Twisting the air around it like it was water. Runic chains began to appear in the sky. Explode the formation disc exploded emitting a burst of golden light that fell on those runic chains. The runic chains also exploded as the golden light enveloped them. The illusion before them vanished, and they sped off once more. Xia Chen began to throw more formation discs out, destroying more and more chains. Long Chen had not expected Pill Valley to have set up so many formations to hinder them from advancing. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Now he realized why that sneak attack had occurred suddenly. Most likely, Pill Valley had noticed that he had come here previously and wanted to kill him to keep him quiet. 
the layers of restrictions blocking them made Long Chen smell a conspiracy. Such formations could only possibly delay them, not stop them. There were many questionable aspects about such a thing. Yu Ziaoyan, I can't be bothered to play chess with you. Instead, I'll flip the chessboard and we can play a different game, sneered Long Chen, who cared about a scheme. He would crush it with absolute power. The Dragonblood Legion continued to break through the formations. Finally, the entrance to the Yun Yang world was revealed. The entrance was still covered in mist, with a giant seal blocking the entrance. The Sovereign Seal. The Sovereign Seal was still emitting a boundless pressure. Even the Dragonblood warriors were filled with humility and respect for this Sovereign Seal. Long Chen looked at the Sovereign Seal quietly. He had previously seen Sovereign Moli within the seal, but now the seal looked weaker. The constant attacks of the blood race on the other side had taken their toll. However, a sovereign was still a sovereign. This seal had lasted for over a hundred thousand years. They were truly an existence unmatched throughout history. Suddenly, the earth began to shake, and the ground split open. Two giant perpendicular scars spreading past the horizon. Long Chen and the others hastily retreated in the face of it, but then a rainbow beam of light shot out of the sky. Within this beam of light, Men Qi and the others sensed the blessings of heaven and earth. This is the Qi flow eruption shouted Guo Ran. Following the first beam, more beams began to break out of the earth, soaring into the sky. There were actually tens of thousands of them. The beams were all different sizes and spread randomly throughout this region. In the distance, there was one particularly wide beam filled with power. We're occupying that beam. Long Chen shouted and brought his group inside it. Within the light beam, all the dragonblood warriors and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows felt their astral spaces automatically absorb energy and start growing. Heavens, their astral spaces rapidly expanded, indicating that they would have even more world energy in the future. They felt their blood being purified, and their souls being cleansed. This chi flow eruption contained the blessing of the world, and this beam contained the strongest blessing of them all. Long Chen didn't care if others grew jealous. Today, he would be occupying this largest stream. Long Chen, you traitor of the martial heaven continent, you actually led the chi flow eruption here to destroy the sovereign seal. Why are you trying to allow the blood race to invade the continent just a moment after they had entered their chi flow stream? Other experts arrived. Pill Valley's Yu Ziaoyan had led a large group of Pill Valley's experts and immediately shouted at Long Chen upon seeing the scene. Chapter 2176 Do not interfere Pill Valley's people had arrived, and Yu Ziaoyan immediately interrogated Long Chen. The other experts arriving had worried expressions upon seeing that the Qi flow eruption was right next to the entrance to the Yun Yang world. There was a huge amount of power bursting out of the earth right now. If that power struck the Sovereign Seal, then this shield of the Martial Heaven Continent would be blown away, and the army of the Blood Race would be free to invade. So Long Chen, now what can you say? Saying you colluded with the original Devil Race was entirely true. You are a traitor of the Continent, and now everyone has seen your true face, shouted the leader of the Ancient Races, Long Jun Kang, the Xuan Beasts, the Ancient Races, the Corrupt Path, the Stone Race. The four everlasting families, all the large powers of the continent were arriving. Seeing Long Chen occupying the largest stream of Qi flow as well as the nearby Sovereign Seal, and then hearing the cursing from Pill Valley's experts, they all came to realize something. How could this be? How could Long Chen be a traitor of the Martial Heaven Alliance? Bidang Rushuang's expression changed. She didn't believe that Long Chen would do such a thing but his current display seemed to be the greatest proof against him. There was no need for slander. At this time, the Martial Heaven Alliance also arrived, and Ku Jinying was stunned to see the Dragonblood Legion and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race within the beam of light. Alliance had Ku Jinying. Now do you have anything to say? Sneered the sect master of a sect that had left the Martial Heaven Alliance. Li Xiangxuan and the old man were both startled as well. Just how was it that Long Chen had known the location and time of the Qi flow eruption? Furthermore, if he knew, why didn't he tell them? Long Chen, what is going on? Asked Ku Jinying. Although she was full of suspicions, she refused to believe that Long Chen was a traitor of the Martial Heaven Continent. 
What is there to ask? Long Chen is a traitor. Hu Jinying, you foolish woman. Are you still trying to quibble and protect him? Demanded an elder who had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance. That elder's voice was still ringing through the air when a golden arrow shot through his head, killing him in mind and body. That golden arrow had come so suddenly and was so fast that by the time people reacted, the elder was already dead. Within the light beam, Guo Ran was holding a three-foot-long blood-colored crossbow. He coldly said, Is our alliance head someone an opportunist like you can shout at? Do you want to try again? There was no need to try because that person was dead and couldn't possibly make another sound. Guo Ran, you sneak attacking trash an Empyrean disciple standing behind the elder shouted at Guo Ran, summoning his awakened manifestation. As a result, Guo Ran's second arrow pierced through that disciple's shield and then blew up the disciple's body. His Yuan spirit was protected by the shield, but his physical body was destroyed. Bass. His Yuan spirit had only appeared for a moment before Guo Ran's next arrow exterminated him. I, Guo Ran, disdain shooting while hidden. Are you an idiot? My crossbow lit up. So how can it count as a sneak attack? Are you blind? Sneered Guo Ran. Long Chen, do you think martial power can silence the voices of the heroes of the martial heaven continent? Your sins cannot be let off this time. Dong Fang Yuyang stepped forward. Coldly looking at Long Chen. Long Chen what is going on? Shouted Ku Jinying. Many experts behind her were shaken by this. And she needed to give them an explanation. Long Chen said. Alliance head. I will say one thing. Not one of us is a traitor of the Martial Heaven continent then how did you know the location of the Qi flow eruption? The entire continent has been looked through by my people. But we didn't find it. You definitely hid it. Shouted an ancient race expert. Long Chen indifferently looked at that person. He shook his head. You and I are not related in any way. I'm too lazy to respond to your question. Turning to Ku Jinying, he said. Alliance head, this is a world where the weak are devoured by the strong. I've had enough of wasting time, trying to explain things to idiots. As for how I know the location and time of the Qi flow eruption, I can't be bothered to explain because explaining will only cause a bunch of people to refute me. People who are familiar with me know that I disdain lying and don't need me to explain. Those who don't believe me would say I'm lying no matter what I say. So why bother? We're all busy people. So don't make up fake excuses. If you want to kill me, then just come. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I believe you, shouted one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, we all believe you. Following the first. Many disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance shouted together. A large portion of those people had fought alongside the Dragonblood Legion in the Yun Yang world. They immediately thought of that intense fight with the entrance to the Yun Yang world right in front of them. The Dragonblood Legion's bravery and heroism were still imprinted strongly in their minds. With Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion here, facing the heavenly geniuses of the various powers, it felt similar to that battle from back then. People who are suspecting senior apprentice brother Long Chen, are you all idiots? If it weren't for him, the Martial Heaven Alliance would have long since been destroyed by their coalition. Have you already forgotten how those greedy wolves have fractured our interior bit by bit? Shouted someone. Have you been brainwashed by Long Chen? Since he could betray the Martial Heaven continent, he could do anything. Who doesn't know how to pretend to be a good person? You coward. Come out and say that in front of everyone. Since you say senior apprentice brother Long Chen is a coward, you should be able to wager some blood on that, right? Come out instead of hiding in the ground. People like you are the trash of the cultivation world. You, what you? I'm giving you a chance to pretend to be a good person. Do you want it or not? Didn't you say everyone knows how to do this? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen risked his life time and time again to protect us. Now you slander him loudly, but become a coward when it comes time to actually take action. That's enough. Yu Ziaoyan's thunderous voice rang out, ending the shouting between the two of them. Everyone has already seen that Long Chen can't even give an explanation. This kind of play probably couldn't even trick a three-year-old child. Now, he has occupied the largest stream of Qi flow. We should all attack together to exterminate him for the Martial Heaven Alliance. 
Whoever kills Long Chen will be given the largest stream of qi flow as a reward. What does everyone think of this? I like it. It's decided. The stone races Shai Ling Feng was the first to agree and shoot out. Followed by over 10,000 experts of the stone race. Following that, the corrupt path. Ancient races. Xuan beasts. Pill Valley. The ancient family alliance. And the other various powers also moved. Alliance head. We trust senior apprentice brother Long Chen. He is definitely no traitor of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Let's help him, shouted one disciple. Just how much has Long Chen done for the Martial Heaven Alliance? If we don't stand together with him now, are we even cultivators? Alliance head, please give the order. The Martial Heaven Alliance must stand beside Long Chen, said one of the elders. That's right. I agree with Elder Qi's opinion. A person needs to know how to repay kindness. They can't choose to be a coward just because of some danger, said one sect leader. He was one of Ku Jianying's earliest supporters. Alliance head, since you trust Long Chen fully, we can trust him as well. Let us fight and show the power of the Martial Heaven Alliance, said another sect leader. More and more disciples and elders spoke up in support of Long Chen. Curiously, the old man didn't say anything instead standing quietly beside Ku Jianying. On the other hand, Bao Buping and Chang Hao weren't able to stand still. Are we fighting or not? If we are, we're going first. Bao Buping had just finished shouting when he was kicked by Boss Bao. Boss Bao glared at him and pointed stealthily to the old man. He was indicating that it was rare for the old man to be getting along well with the alliance head. So Bao Buping shouldn't add oil to the fire. Ku Jianying's heart was moved. After the large waves washed away the sand, what was left was the gold. These loyal members of the Martial Heaven Alliance all trusted her. Ku Jianying looked at the old man. The old man merely smiled faintly. No need to look at me. I'll listen to you. You can treat me as your subordinate. Boss Bao and the others were stunned to find that when the old man smiled, Ku Jianying actually blushed. Boss Bao and the others exchanged glances. The two of them had definitely gotten up to something romantic. However, Boss Bao and the others didn't dare to say anything. They could guess why the old man had gone from a violent tiger to a docile cat. Ku Jianying raised her hand, about to give the order to attack. When Long Chen's voice rang out, This battle belongs to my Dragonblood Legion and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. It is a battle to the death against the various powers who oppose us. I would ask others to not interfere. If you are neutral, then do what you came to do. If your friends, find a place with good feng shu to watch. If your enemies, then come at us. This is your best chance to kill me. Don't miss it. What is this brat thinking? Ku Jianying was stunned. Her hand was still hanging in the air. She didn't know whether or not she was to support Long Chen. Let's find a place with good feng shu to watch. We can occupy some good qi flow streams now. Li Xiangxuan looked around and saw that other powers had started occupying the strongest qi flow streams. They led their group over to a large light beam. Chapter 2177 Guo Ran vs. Shai Ling Feng What? Are we really just going to watch? Hu Jianying looked back at the old man and sent him a message. The old man looked at Yu Ziaoyan and the others. He replied, It's fine. That little fellow must have the confidence to say such things. Also, do you see that Yu Ziaoyan and the others aren't joining in? We should just wait and keep an eye on them. Old against old, young against young. We'll see who loses patience first. At this time, Li Xiangxuan had led people to occupy a large qi flow stream. He chose a very suitable stream. It wasn't so huge that it was the most contested, but it could enter the top 10. Has there been some mistake? Are we even men? Why aren't we fighting? Demanded Bao Buping and Chang Hao. Little bastards. Who do you think you're talking to? Raged Boss Bao. Sending a kick their way. But they dodged. Don't think that just because you're older. We don't dare to sort you out. None of you are real men. We are life and death brothers with Long Chen. So no matter what. We're going. Declared Bao Buping. Don't take another step. Or I'll break your leg. Shouted Boss Bao. Just try it. Bao Buping and Chang Hao ignored him. The other disciples of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect shouted, Anyone with a tool down there, follow me. We'll fight together with Long Chen. Brat, 
You dare? If you go, you will no longer be a disciple of the heaven-splitting battle sect, declared Boss Bao. So what? Starting today, we are joining the Dragonblood Legion. Brothers, let's go. Bao Buping waved his hand, leading thousands of the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples to Long Chen's side. Bastards, get back here, shouted Boss Bao. The seventh boss patted Boss Bao's shoulder, quietly saying, that's about enough. You're not good at acting. It's so fake that I'm getting embarrassed just watching. It's true. You should say less. I'm getting goosebumps. Added the fourth boss. You. Boss Bao almost coughed up blood. The old man was standing beside Kujin Ying now. He couldn't tell the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples to join Long Chen. Or that would be taken as not listening to orders. However. The disciples of the heaven-splitting battle sect couldn't possibly just watch considering their relationship with Long Chen. The disciples were definitely going. They just needed a reason, resulting in Boss Bao putting on an act of not being able to look after these children. But this act was a bit too fake. Bao Buping and Chang Hao brought the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples over to Long Chen's side, but the battle had already begun. Shai Lingfeng and the Stone Race's experts were the first to arrive. Shai Lingfeng's one eye shone fiercely. Long Chen, I've mastered the Stone Emperor's divine arts. Today, I'll show you my Stone Race's true divine abilities. Shai Lingfeng smashed a fist forward. A giant fist image appeared, sparkling like a sky of stars. The Stone Emperor's paragon art, the star falling fist. That was the paragon art that Shai Changsheng created himself based on the stone race's bodies. Quite a few experts of the senior generation were stunned by this attack. Long Chen snorted. He was about to attack when Guo Ran stepped forward. There's no need to waste your energy on this trash. Boss, I'll kill this dog. Guo Ran shot away. His body instantly becoming covered in blood-colored armor. Various runes lit up on his armor as he unleashed his own punch. Long Chen had never seen Guo Ran in this armor. It seemed that his armor had evolved greatly during this time. There were two small wings on his sides, as well as a curved horn on the top of his head. His shoulders were protected by two dragon heads. His elbows had sharp points on the ends, and there were a pair of wings on his back. The feather-like marks along his wings made them look like wings made of metal feathers. Those wings were made based on the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's wing structure because Guo Ran wanted to imitate their speed. What a dog shit paragon art. Watch as I, Guo Ran, break it with a single punch. Who do you think you are to fight me? Face your death, raged Shai Lingfeng, feeling insulted that Long Chen had sent a subordinate out against him. Boom. Guo Ran's fist smashed into Shai Lingfeng's attack without any flashiness. Shai Lingfeng's attack simply crumbled, unleashing a wave of ripples that made space twist. As for Guo Ran, he remained in his original location, not having been forced back a single step. He was still in his punching posture. What is going on? I didn't even see how he countered that terrifying attack. His aura fluctuations and blood chi fluctuations are practically non-existent. There's no world energy, and it wasn't a magical art. So... This was all the power of his armor? Is he someone from the mechanism sect? Could it be that Long Chen's subordinate was able to master all the mechanism sect's mechanism arts after its destruction? Guo Ran slowly stood up straight, clasping his hands behind him. He arrogantly said, The Stone Emperor's paragon art? If I had known it would be so weak, I wouldn't have even punched. I would have just farted and dispelled it. Long Chen silently gave Guo Ran a thumbs up inside. He was truly a marvel. That punch just now had tricked everyone. That was no punch. Guo Ran had activated a cylinder in his wrist to unleash a weapon to destroy Shai Lingfeng's attack. Long Chen felt that burst of power to be a bit familiar, and now he recalled that it was the power of the mechanism sect's god extermination cannon. However, Guo Ran had somehow modified the power. It wasn't as strong as the god extermination cannon, but it could be activated very quickly. He liked acting, and he was good at it, so it looked like he had unleashed a casual punch to destroy Shai Lingfeng's attack, shocking everyone. Long Chen had no choice but to admit that when it came to mechanisms, Guo Ran was truly a monster, but what made him speechless was that because Guo Ran liked showing off so much, he had actually made it so that when he spoke, 
his armor amplified his voice, making it sound even more arrogant. What a fart. Shai Lingfeng furiously stamped forward, recovering from his shock. Multiple figures of him appeared in the sky, appearing in front of Guo Ran in an instant. His speed shocked everyone. The stone race's power was renowned, but their speed was supposed to be lacking in comparison. They had never seen someone from the stone race possessing such speed. All right, as you wish. Guo Ran didn't even look at Shai Lingfeng. Lazily stretching, he turned and bent. Runes lit up on his armor as he pointed his butt at Shai Lingfeng. A powerful boom ripped through the air. A ray of divine light shot out, followed by raging flames. Shai Lingfeng couldn't even unleash his attack before he was sent flying by that explosion. He tumbled back, only stopping when he was caught by several of the stone race's experts. A powerful chi wave spread through the air. This attack's power was even greater than Guo Ran's punch. However, no one marveled at its power. Instead, they stared oddly at the ripples. Some people even unconsciously covering their noses and backing up, looking at the miserable Shai Lingfeng. They were shocked. As expected, the leader raises similar troops. No wonder the Dragonblood Legion calls Long Chen boss. The boss isn't normal, and his subordinates aren't normal either, said Bidang Rushuang within a stream of qi flow. She rolled her eyes. Was there a single normal person in the Dragonblood Legion? I can flatten you with just a fart. Now, do you believe it? Guo Ran deliberately shook his butt a few times before standing back up. Bastard. Shai Lingfeng roared. The stone race's experts that had caught him were thrown into the distance. The runes on his body suddenly split down the middle, opening like eyes, revealing crystals. Those crystals were like the stars in the sky. His runes connected to each other like chains, pulsing energy throughout his body like blood vessels. Upon taking a single step, the void collapsed. Shai Lingfeng's aura had grown explosively, and he shot at Guo Ran like a shooting star. I'll tear you to pieces. Shai Lingfeng seemed to have become a blazing star. His arms stretched toward Guo Ran. Shai Lingfeng has gone insane. He's even offering up the chi of his true spirit. This is equivalent to burning his essence blood, said someone heavily. The current Shai Lingfeng was displaying the greatest power of one of the ancient era's supreme geniuses. I'll only need one hand to handle you. Guo Ran kept one hand behind him while a blood-colored saber appeared in his other hand. Chapter 2178 The Blood Emperor Family's Beauty in Front of the Berserk and Powerful Shai Lingfeng Guo Ran still appeared as relaxed as ever. The saber in his right hand lit up at the same time as the wings on his back. The light was brighter than the sun and quickly condensed into the saber. Shai Lingfeng's fist smashed into the saber, unleashing an explosion of light. Both their bodies rocked as they actually ended up even in power. Suddenly, another saber appeared in Guo Ran's left hand, pulling back the saber in his right hand. He swung the saber in his left hand at Shai Lingfeng's waist. Sparks flew as a large cut appeared in Shai Lingfeng's body. Golden liquid flowed out of that wound, and it seemed to contain an enormous amount of spiritual qi. It should be Shai Lingfeng's blood. Shai Lingfeng roared and kicked Guo Ran, while Guo Ran blocked with his knee. The two once more separated. Bastard. Didn't you say you would only use one hand? Idiot. Aren't I only using one hand? Guo Ran waved the blade in his left hand. Bullshit. You're clearly using both hands. Cursed Shai Lingfeng. After having one eye plucked out by my boss, did your other eye become blind? I clearly only used my left hand after my right hand was done. Isn't that still one hand at a time? Sneered Guo Ran. You. You idiot. You don't even understand this principle. Then I'll give you a display to show what's one hand and what's two hands. Guo Ran suddenly flew at Shai Lingfeng, slashing one of his sabers at him. This is one hand. Boom. This is also one hand. Boom. Guo Ran swung his sabers alternatively, forcing Shai Lingfeng back twice. Just at this moment, Guo Ran pressed his two sabers together. The two sabers actually merged into one, and in that instant, a terrifying pressure crashed down. Guo Ran's armor suddenly flashed, and his saber hacked down like lightning. This is two hands. B-O-O-O-M. This time, Guo Ran's saber slashed partly through both Shai Lingfeng's hands. Everyone clearly saw cracks appear on his hands, and golden liquid burst out. Shai Lingfeng smashed into the ground, 
The sabers separated once more, and Guo Ran rested them both on his shoulders, having them form an X sign. Although they looked a bit strange, they were definitely flashy. Looking down at the ground where Shai Ling Fen was, Guo Ran lazily said, Stonehead, now do you understand? Do you know how to differentiate between one hand and two hands? Guo Ran had actually beaten the Stone Emperor's heir into such a state, shocking everyone present. Although Guo Ran had some fame in the Dragon Blood Legion, the reality was that in the eyes of the rest of the world, he was a minor figure of complete insignificance. The fact that Guo Ran relied on his armor and not his own power made other experts look down on him. They refused to acknowledge such a fighting style. Just because the mechanism sect was arrogant didn't mean that the rest of the world acknowledged them either. They never dared to provoke true experts. In the eyes of the likes of the everlasting families, the stone race, or other powers with their own profound foundations, the mechanism sect was nothing more than an irritating fly. Even the mechanism sect's mechanism arts weren't important to them. They considered it a heretical path. As for Guo Ran, he was just a dabbler of that path. However, Guo Ran had now beaten Shai Ling Feng, and that was exceptionally shocking. Are his mechanism arts even greater than the mechanism sect? But how could that be possible? People were full of questions. Was this heretical path actually so powerful? They had clearly sensed Shai Ling Feng's terrifying aura. That level of power was suffocating, but Guo Ran had easily beaten him. That was hard to believe. Is the entire Dragon Blood Legion this terrifying? First Yu Zifeng killed Jian Wachen, and now some armored, nameless freak was able to crush Shai Ling Feng. Just what is going on? Demanded one of the ancient race's supreme geniuses. Aren't they supposed to be part of a declined era? Wasn't the chi flow of the continent insufficient to give rise to more experts like us? How could such terrifying experts appear just before the chi flow eruption? Can any random member of them match a supreme genius? The Dragon Blood Legion is too terrifying looking from Guo Ran to the bottomless hole in the ground. Their hearts shook. It was no wonder Long Chen dared to be so arrogant as to occupy the strongest chi flow stream. The stone race's experts' expressions changed, especially their seniors who were standing at the rear. Some of them tried to charge forward as well, but they were stopped by their leader. Boom. Shai Ling Feng came charging out of the ground. His cracked arms had recovered. The earth began to shine, and the light gathered at Shai Ling Feng. Wow, not bad. You've recovered so quickly. I forgot that you stone heads are born from the earth. Guo Ran praised Shai Ling Feng, but that praise sounded more like an adult praising a child. Great earth and support. Stone spirit possession. Shai Ling Feng ignored Guo Ran, letting out a furious roar. The surrounding earth radiated golden light that he absorbed. He once more charged at Guo Ran. Boom. This time, Guo Ran shuddered from the impact. Even with the protection of his armor, his arms were numb. After drinking your mother's milk, your power really is different. It looks like we can properly play now. You like to fight barehanded? Then I won't use my blades either. Guo Ran actually put away his blood-colored sabers and began exchanging punches and kicks with Shai Ling Feng. Every collision caused spatial rumbling. Sparks flew about. The sound of stone and metal clashing was very piercing. This armor of Guo Ran's is much more agile than before. It's like it's a part of him. He really has some talent in this regard just as Long Chen was watching Guo Ran's fight. He heard a voice ring out behind him. Oh? Mo Nian, when did you get here? Asked Long Chen. Surprised. Mo Nian had come. Mo Nian's face darkened. He cursed. I've been here forever. When I said something, you all ignored me. Am I really so easy to overlook about that? I can testify that Mo Nian came before us. Bao Buping raised a hand. Only then did Long Chen see that Mo Nian had brought over 10,000 of the Mo family's disciples. Long Chen had been so focused on the sovereign seal that he hadn't noticed. With Gu Yang and the others around, he didn't need to pay too much attention to the surroundings. So when Mo Nian arrived, Gu Yang and the others had greeted him. But Long Chen hadn't even looked his way, depressing him. Had Long Chen's status grown to the point that he no longer recognized his friends? However, when Mo Nian heard Long Chen's question, he almost coughed up blood. How exactly had Long Chen simply not seen him? Long Chen, it's been a long time. 
A woman standing behind Mo Nian walked forward. Haha, <laughs> it really has been a long time. Lady Liu's heroic air is still the same after all these years. Long Chen laughed. This woman with her hair tied up behind her head and her slender figure was Mo Nian's fancy. Lu Zongying. Long Chen still remembered the first time he had encountered this woman. She had been like a fierce tiger, wanting to teach him a lesson, saying that he had misguided Mo Nian into being unfaithful. At that time, Lu Zongying had been a celestial whose power was even greater than Mo Nian's, making him afraid of her. Later on, Mo Nian awakened a special manifestation and sword, while Lu Zongying stayed in her old state. However, her position in Mo Nian's heart never changed. Perhaps Mo Nian had gotten so used to her beatings that he felt unwell without them. Yes, you're also not bad. After so many years, you've gotten a group of women Lu Zongying glared at Long Chen. Yes, not bad. Mo Nian said he would do the same one day, said Long Chen. Fortunately, there wasn't someone as intense as Lu Zongying amongst his women. Although Tang Wan'er got jealous easily. It was much better than Lu Zongying's intense jealousy. As expected, Lu Zongying turned her attention to Mo Nian. You said that, before Mo Nian said anything. Long Chen piped up. No, he never said that. I must have made a mistake. Seeing how fake that explanation was, Mo Nian's expression darkened. Long Chen was acting like he was covering up the truth. Look, Guo Ran's attacking, cried Mo Nian. All right. There are too many people here, so I'll give you some face. When we get back, you'll have to give me a perfect explanation, said Lu Zongying quietly. Long Chen smiled brightly. Mo Nian would constantly con him when he was bored, and now Long Chen wanted to have some vengeance. All the life star experts that had come were in Qi Flow streams, absorbing the energy. They watched as Guo Ran and Shai Ling Feng fought. Seeing how even things were even when Guo Ran was just fighting with his fists, they concluded that it was not a fluke that Guo Ran had sent Shai Ling Feng flying at the beginning. It was true power. Long Chen. Long Chen. The Blood Emperor's family beauty has come. Are you interested? Mo Nian suddenly patted Long Chen on the shoulder, pointing in the distance. Long Chen followed his gesture, and his body suddenly quivered. Such a beauty actually exists in this world. Chapter 2179 The Peerless Beauty Shu Aluacha in a distant stream of Qi flow. Hundreds of thousands of the ancient family alliances experts had gathered. During this time, the experts of the continent had tried charging into the streams of Qi flow. Any rank 9 celestial or empyrean could freely enter and receive the blessing of the Qi flow. However, rank 8 celestials and below couldn't enter. They were rejected by the chi flow, so they could only absorb the chi scattered through the air. That was the difference between those blessed by the heavens and those not. Empyreans were given the meat, while the rest were given some diluted soup, and only a few drops at that. The ancient family alliance was a giant organization. As more and more of their members arrived, the number of people in their stream of chi flow swelled to over 700,000. Although the Martial Heaven Alliance in comparison was close to 10 million people at this point, the Ancient Family Alliance's group was still a spectacular sight. Within their large group, an extravagant carriage appeared. A man and woman walked out, holding hands. The beauty that Mo Nian was referring to was the woman. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, and everyone's gaze immediately fell on that woman. They were all confident in their own looks. So they wanted to see what this peerless beauty looked like. However, when they saw that woman, they held back choked cries, covering their mouths. How is she? Beautiful. Right. Laughed Mo Nian. Mo Nian, your tastes are growing heavier. Even Long Chen was shaken by this woman's appearance. She was wider than she was tall. And she was actually taller than Long Chen. From a distance, she looked like a large balloon. Her neck was non-existent. As for her head. All her facial features were scrunched up in one spot. Her eyes were two narrow slits. She tottered as she walked, her flesh trembling. It was like a mountain of meat moving. Beside her was a more conventionally attractive man. The two of them made a striking pair. That's. Di Feng Long Chen recognized the man. It was Di Long's son. He. So you still remember him. Di Feng had a wedding just three days ago. And that's his wife. Mo Nian laughed delightedly. 
Are you saying that she is? Yes. That woman is the Blood Emperor's family's top genius. The Blood Emperor's daughter. Shu Aluacha. Long Chen's jaw dropped. He suddenly recalled the two descendants of the Blood Emperor that he had encountered before. When he had asked if Shu Aluacha was beautiful, they had said that she was beautiful enough to eclipse the moon and shame flowers. Now he understood. Even the moon would hide upon seeing her, and flowers would turn away. Too embarrassed to look at her, as Shu Aluacha tottered across the ground, her arms bounced like large carrots. They swung back and forth, swinging with a waist that was indistinguishable from the rest of her body. In all of Long Chen's life, it was his first time feeling sympathy for one of his enemies. Seeing Di Feng's wooden expression, the hostility Long Chen felt for him vanished. Seeing Shu Aluacha, every man present involuntarily shuddered. I never thought that Di Feng was a real man before, but even such a woman doesn't satisfy him. You can tell he wants more. Tell me, Grandmaster Long Chen, can you explain why he would desire such a thing? Chortled Mo Nian. It cannot be said in too much detail. Then give a general explanation I already said. It cannot be said that she's too thin. 1. Mo Nian looked at Shu Aluacha's terrifying girth and instantly understood. He couldn't hold back another laugh. It must be hard on Di Fang. This is truly a case of being too far away to help. 2. Long Chen sighed, exchanged a glance with Mo Nian, and then the two of them laughed once more. What are the two of you talking about? demanded Lu Zongying. Lost. Cough. We were saying that the two of them were drawn together by fate. They're a perfect match for each other, lied Long Chen. Meng Chi and the others were red. Having experience with Long Chen's scoundrel ways, they knew he lied. Although they didn't understand completely, they could guess his general meaning. Di Feng was holding hands with Shu Aluacha. His hand was enveloped by a mass of flesh. Just the sight of it was comical. Di Feng is truly blessed. He can reach just by standing there. Praised Mo Nian. This time, Lu Zongying seemed to understand. Shu Aluacha was tall and her chest was gigantic. Just one of them was larger than Di Feng's head. When standing still, his head was on the same level as her chest. Mo Nian, you bastard. If you envy him so much, why don't you just go? Raged Lu Zongying. Mo Nian rolled his eyes. Lu Zongying didn't seem to be able to tell the difference between good and bad things. All he was doing was relishing in the downfall of his old enemy, and she was getting jealous. Even Tang Wan Er found it funny and wasn't able to get jealous of Shu Aluacha. As expected, no matter in which field, there was always someone stronger. Long Chen and Mo Nian's scoundrel like Chortling made Meng Chi and the others laugh. The two of them were top figures on the continent with countless worshippers, but now they didn't seem to possess the slightest air of supreme experts. Long Chen and Mo Nian's laughter reached Di Feng's ears. He was enraged, but he couldn't react. This was the wife that Di Long had arranged for him, and it had been impossible for him to decline. He was also a figure capable of shaking the world, but now he was being laughed at. Husband, don't be angry. It's not healthy for you. Those two blind fellows will be killed by me in a bit, comforted Shu Aluacha quietly. Then why not just attack now? I don't want to look at them for one more second, raged Di Fang. Husband, calm down. Now isn't the time to truly take action. Just wait a moment and watch the scene change, said Shu Aluacha. By this point, it had been an hour since the Qi flow eruption had started. Practically, all the continent's experts had flown over. Those part of a faction joined their faction. Those without a faction could only occupy a Qi flow stream suitable to them. They couldn't pick a big one since they were worried about others taking it from them, while picking a small one was letting themselves down. The true power of the continent was revealed. Many powerful sects had come. Even some sects that rarely showed their faces in the ancient era had come out. The Skywood Divine Palace, the Elusive Music Immortal Palace, the Divine Ice Palace, the Heaven-Reaching Ancient Castle. Countless powerful forces had taken their own positions. Zi Yan was with 8,000 of the elusive Music Immortal Palace's disciples, standing in a Qi flow stream. Every one of them was sitting cross legged, a zither resting on their knees. Rather than competitors for the Qi flow, they seemed more like musicians waiting for a chance to perform. They had occupied a large stream. However, 
they didn't occupy it alone. Other powers were allowed in as long as they didn't disturb them. The seniors of the various powers had also come. However, they were unable to step into the chi flow streams because they were not the main characters of this era. They were rejected by the chi flow. Outside of the Divine Ice Palace's stream, Daoist Heavenly Feather was standing quietly, looking up at the sky where the chi flow stream soared and then slowly spread throughout the continent. The senior generation of the Divine Ice Palace was standing behind her. The majority of them were women and the faintest warmth appeared in their eyes when they saw Yi's Hikyu. As fellow ice cultivators they could sense her current state. Although she was now in the Dragonblood Legion, the mark of a disciple of the Divine Ice Palace was still on her. The arrival of Daoist Heavenly Feather put quite some pressure on the other seniors. She was so old that it was frightening. Her looks had been frozen in time. She still looked like a young beauty, but her name alone was able to shake the continent. Suddenly. The earth began to shake, and the rumbling in the air grew quiet. Even the chi flow streams grew gentle. The true eruption is about to start. The bloody slaughter is about to begin as well. Daoist Heavenly Feather sighed. As the ground stopped trembling, the chi flow streams grew gentler. However, as time passed, the aura of the heavenly Daos within the chi flow streams grew stronger, and the spiritual chi was more condensed. Spider web like cracks covered the earth. Every crisscross became a chi flow stream. As for the place Long Chen occupied, it was the core of all the streams. Boom. After a brief moment of calm, the second eruption came. It was ten times stronger than before. Long Chen, this chi flow stream isn't something a traitor of the martial heaven continent can occupy. Dongfang Yuyang finally took action, leading the Dongfang family's disciples over to Long Chen's Chi Flow Stream Novelun.com following Dongfang Yuyang. Several others moved. Zeman Xiangsheng, Tian Zizi, Kun Pengzi, and Xu Eluacha led their people over. The real battle was about to erupt. 1. This is a pun on a character meaning both detail and thin. 2. This expression that means too far to be able to help is literally written as a whip that cannot reach. The character for whip can sometimes mean penis. Chapter 2180 What is wildly arrogant Dongfang Yuyang and the others slowly approached. However, they were intentionally going slow. None of them wanted to be the first. So they maintained a steady speed. You insignificant character. Die. Seeing Dongfang Yuyang and the others approaching. Shai Lingfeng roared. Even after fighting Guo Ran for so long, he was unable to do anything to him. A giant image appeared behind him. As a result, Guo Ran instantly felt an immense feeling of danger. Guo Ran raised both sabers in front of him and activated his full defensive power, but he was still sent flying by Shai Lingfeng's punch. He coughed up a mouthful of blood. Shai Lingfeng had summoned some kind of power that was able to injure Guo Ran through his armor. But what shocked Guo Ran more was that this foreign energy was suppressing his blood chi. The Stone Emperor's spirit? He actually summoned it. This power. This was not sovereign might. It was emperor might. There was no mistake. Shai Lingfeng was actually using the power that Shai Changsheng had left behind. Die. Shai Lingfeng unleashed a second punch. The air of an emperor fully erupting. However, this world-shaking attack was easily dodged by Guo Ran. Standing in the sky, Guo Ran nodded. Yes, not bad. Now you finally are showing some skill. You're qualified to exchange blows against boss. Work hard. I look favorably upon you. Guo Ran turned and fled. Shai Lingfeng's emperor might was affecting the circulation of his blood chi. In that kind of state, Guo Ran couldn't fight him. In any case, he had finished showing off. It was time to pack it in before he was exposed. Boss, save me. Guo Ran transmitted to Long Chen. Actually. Long Chen was already moving before Guo Ran even spoke. Split the heavens eight. Long Chen swung Evil Moon. The same old move? Die. Shai Lingfeng sneered, and his emperor might crashed down upon Long Chen as he smashed a fist. When the aura of an emperor was added to Shai Lingfeng's attack, it shook the very stars. Many people thought that this attack would be enough to take Long Chen's life. Evil Moon's two dragon marks lit up, and a ferocious aura erupted out of it. Shai Lingfeng's fist crumbled. The immense power cut apart his arm. Evil Moon rumbled. 
leaving a dragon cry in the air that squeezed people's souls. Shai Lingfeng let out a pained groan as he flew back. Even with his emperor might, he was defeated. Before he could recover, Shai Lingfeng's body, which was tougher than a divine item, was cut in two by a second strike from Long Chen's saber. His golden blood flew. Heavens, both the senior generation and the junior generation stared in shock at Long Chen. How was it that today's Long Chen was so terrifying? His divine item is finally awake? He, finally, this is the Long Chen that I know. Mo Nian nodded, seeing the air coming from Evil Moon. Last time, because Long Chen hadn't had a divine item working with him, they hadn't been able to keep Kun Pengzi behind. Now Long Chen had leaked in power. Long Chen sliced apart Shai Lingfeng's arm with his first attack, cut him in two with his second, and then his third attack came, his movements flowing smoothly like water. His third saber was right in front of Shai Lingfeng's head in an instant. No, the stone race's experts charged over, but they were too far away to help. Boom. Long Chen's saber stabbed into Shai Lingfeng's forehead. However, at that exact moment, the crystal shining on Shai Lingfeng's body went dim and all their power gathered into a shield in front of Long Chen's saber. A powerful explosion occurred, and while Shai Lingfeng managed to escape alive, even the illusory image behind him was destroyed. Long Chen snorted and caught up to him with a single step, sweeping out his saber. Shai Lingfeng's head went flying. Now let's see how you block it. Once again, Long Chen stabbed his saber at Shai Lingfeng's head. Shai Lingfeng's incredibly tough body was cut easily by the current Evil Moon. After awakening, Evil Moon had recovered its divine power. Suddenly, a ray of light shot over from the side. Even before it arrived, Long Chen felt a sensation of mortal danger. If he wanted to kill Shai Lingfeng, he would have to take this attack. If he blocked this attack, he would lose his chance to kill Shai Lingfeng. Long Chen saw that the light was a silver shield which had come from Dongfang Yuyang. He had finally taken action. The Dongfang family's priceless treasure, the Star Shield. It's a set with the Star Spear. It is said that the set was created from the metal of thousands of stars that had fallen to the land. Cried out someone who recognized the origin of that shield. Long Chen had no choice but to give up killing Shai Lingfang. His saber slammed into the shield, causing a huge explosion of divine light. It was like a star had exploded. Long Chen spun from the impact, but borrowing the force of the revolution, he kicked Shai Lingfeng's head. Shai Lingfeng's head transformed into a ray of light that charged toward the other experts rushing over. His head happened to go toward the corrupt path's people. Tian Zizi's expression changed. If they stopped Shai Lingfeng's head with a divine item, then Shai Lingfeng would be killed. Get out of the way, shouted Tian Zizi. However, that head was like a cannon and many people were unable to dodge it. It passed through the corrupt path's army, killing thousands. Nice. Well done. Be even wilder. The old man was cheering Long Chen on from amongst the crowd, while Boss Ba and the others followed along, as if they were the ones fighting. Long Chen, I misjudged you. I didn't think you were a traitor of the Martial Heaven continent. You betrayed my trust. Today. I'll personally take your head to give an explanation to the Martial Heaven Continent Dongfang Yuyang caught his shield. With the shield in his left hand and a silver spear in his right hand, he charged at Long Chen, waves of silver light filling the air. Give it up. When you invited me to the gathering of past and present heroes, you secretly created conflicts between me and others. Did you think I didn't know? You pretended to be a good person while secretly plotting against me. Do you think someone like that can become a sovereign? Do you think wearing white will cover up the darkness in your heart? The sovereigns were all noble and upright. A hypocrite like you will never become one, sneered Long Chen. With Evil Moon on his shoulder, his black clothes and hair danced in the wind. A bunch of nonsense. Do you think anyone would believe you? Dongfang Yuyang laughed and stabbed his spear forward. Countless spear images appeared, looking like a lotus in bloom. Every spear image contained immense power, and there were millions of them. People couldn't even tell which was the real one. A flashy trick with no real power. It's just as fake as you. Long Chen let out a casual swing of his saber. The spear images vanished. His saber having caught the real one. I didn't expose you before because my wings hadn't grown yet and I didn't want to implicate others. 
But now, I've grown up, as have my brothers. Who would bother to continue playing this game with you? Evil Moon pushed forward, and the immense power made Dong Fang Yuang take many steps back. Every step he was forced back caused the void beneath him to crumble. Long Chen, you colluded with the original devil race and you still dare to talk like this? You're too wildly arrogant. I, Zeman Xiangsheng, will handle you. Long Chen had just forced back Dong Fang Yuang when Zeman Xiangsheng arrived. A blood-colored saber in his hand emitting a ferocious aura. A tiger cry rang out. It's the Zeman family's five tiger heaven breaking saw their people's hearts shook. As expected, everyone had come prepared. Even ancient inherited divine items had been brought. Items that hadn't seen the light of day in thousands of years. Just this is wildly arrogant? Then you haven't seen the rest of the world. You have yet to see my wildly arrogant side. With just a light block. Long Chen locked Evil Moon against Zeman Xiangsheng's saber. He was able to freely control his power, going from fierce to soft as he pleased. Evil Moon had grown much stronger after awakening, and Long Chen could control it easier as well. They no longer needed to fight while being careful about every little bit of power they used. The current Evil Moon was like a part of him, giving him a feeling of a tiger that had been given wings. Zeman Xiangsheng's arms bulged as his power crazily grew and he pressed forward. However, Long Chen continued to block him with just one hand. All of Zeman Xiangsheng's power was unable to rattle him in the slightest. Do you want to know what real wild arrogance is? Long Chen asked Zeman Xiangsheng. 